Hello, everyone, and welcome to BeamNG Drive. Welcome back to uh, some more Driven Till Destruction. We are back at the Proving Grounds. I tried, I tried to get the Enduro Drome to work. I can't. The textures are broken. I tried to fix them, and I can't figure out how to fix them. So they're busted. That's broken. I even tried to look at the old Reckoning map from a very long time ago. Also couldn't get that one to work. So <laughs> it is the Enduro Drome that we are visiting uh, again today, as it is a good fun uh, destructive circuit. I have got an Eve currently trying to sit on the controller. Evie, buddy. Am I, and you can sit on my lap, that's fine. Just please don't stand on my controller, okay? Stop fidgeting. Bloody hell. Uh, we are, of course, less than a minute in. And already got a cat being a troublesome one. Uh, welcome all. Welcome all just tuning in. Uh, also, thank you very much to Drake uh, for the donation before we started. Um, uh, saying Alex was showing his fire truck was a pure beast. His friends tried to stop him, yelling he's heading northeast. Lado used his recovery truck, but the others had little luck, uh, as Alex looked forward to a victory and a nugget feast. Ah, it's a good liberty. You are requesting the fire truck. I don't have the mod. The mod was not one I had. It was installed on the server. It is not a mod that I have. I cannot use it today. However, I can use a fire department vehicle. We can... Uh, we can have a go with one of those up next. We're starting off with a BMW Z3 alike. Uh, I've forgotten the name of the car. Uh, What's it called? I've downloaded a bunch of mods as well. Uh, so, <laughs> a bunch more mods uh, that... Uh, oh, I don't know how, what button I pressed to bring that up. I did not mean to. I downloaded a bunch of mods. I've also downloaded something that I'm going to try. Uh, it was an ETK K-Series. I guess it's like a, like a K-Series classic or whatever you want to call I don't know. It's a slightly strange one. Um, I have downloaded another mod that I might install a bit later. If we have too many cars going out with oil pan damage, I have a mod that can kind of stop it. It doesn't really stop it properly, but it will kind of do it, it might work. I don't really know. We'll see how it goes, basically. If we get, if we get too many oil pan related deaths, I have a way to sort of prevent it. Be a bit unbalanced, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to start off with the Z3. I mean, I am expecting it to... Well, it's front engine, rear wheel drive. Drive shaft could be a problem. Uh, wheels are going to be a potential problem as well. I don't know how strong the wheels are. K-Series are... Oh, sorry. The ETKs, if this shares wheel hubs and axles and all of that suspension from ETKs, the wheels might be kind of bendy. And, I mean, it's also a um, sports car. At the end of the day, it's low slung. Uh, it's liable to take suspension damage and all of that. Um, uh, thankfully, no. The, what, the, the, I, I have a mod that makes cars indestructible. And it, there are bits of it that are toggle, tog, toggleable. Now, unfortunately, I can't just have oil pan being indestructible. I can have engine be indestructible, but it is the whole thing. Uh, oh, well, the exhaust has come off. This is going to be quite loud up here. No, actually, it's not made any difference. Eve, you have got your claw in my wrist. Excuse me, Evie. I do not... You are sat comfortably. Why claws? Why, why are the claws there? Quite, quite painful. Also, I do apologise. I hope the stream isn't lagging too much. OBS is... Show it displaying this really weirdly. The game is running fine. The bitrate and everything is fine, but it does seem to be showing a little bit weird. Um, I apologise. Oh, that's a lot of camber. That roll has done an alarming amount of camber to the back of the car. Um, it's not actually really given me any problems from the handling department, surprisingly, considering we have that much camber on one side and barely any on the other. Um, I, don't know why, I don't know what's going on with OBS, because it's currently... I've got a green box, no drop frames, anything like that. It's all good. So there's no reason why it should be doing that. The game is running at nice, a nice smooth 60. OBS is being dumb. Uh, <laughs> great. We're going to have to... Oh, I hate computers. This is not... Uh, this is not my day today. Um... I'm going to hope that after a couple... If it's not fixed itself by the end of this car or a couple of cars in this car started quickly, I'll have to fart about with settings and hope I somehow magic it into existence, uh, into working. I do apologise. Um, I mean, the Z3 actually is holding up surprisingly okay. 
Um, it's considering it's got a lot of camber going on one side. It's had some pretty big hits on the floor. It is. Uh, I mean, the roof's starting to peel away is probably the best way to describe it. The fenders are all buckled. We've lost the rear bumper, but mechanically speaking, the car is surprisingly good. I, I will take losing a few bits of bumpers along the way. Um, oh, we're going to splat the floor quite hard. Uh, that's fine. Come on, little ETK. Oh god, that's a horrible thing. Ooh, that that rear wheel does not look very um, stable right there. It looks like it is uh, having problems. Oh, I hate computers. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm sorry for it. I'll try and fix it. I, I don't know what I need to do to kick it into life, but uh, <laughs> try and fix something somewhere if I can. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a rear wheel failure. It looks like it's going to be the rear right that is going to fall off the car if uh, anything is going to let go. I mean, I am pleasantly surprised that that is what's going in this. The engine is holding up pretty well for a sports car on this incredibly destructive course. And honestly, I don't think the spinners really pose much threat to me. I think this could probably go under the spinners at this point. Uh, it's, I mean, it might tear the roof off, but that's of minimal concern uh, right here. Okay, here we go. Fly through the uh, K-Series. Okay, it's all right. It's taken a bit of a smack on the floor. It's that it is the, re the rear wheel is definitely flexing in ways it shouldn't be. Like both, oh, both rear wheels are flexing in ways that does not look right. I think we might have lost, like, upper suspension arms in this, which I don't quite know why. Upper suspension arms, or quite how we managed to break the upper ones, maybe, because, the, the, yeah, it's kind of holding it on itself quite a lot, and the front isn't doing that. Um, cool. Ah, uh, the radiator's gone. Well, I mean, it was eventually going to do something along the lines of that, wasn't it? Uh, it was going to take some damage somewhere. Oh, it is shaking itself about. I mean, the speed bumps. The speed bumps is some of the bigger concerns for me now. With the rear suspension kind of giving up, speed bumps could actually do some real damage. Or if not these, the checkerboard could. No, actually, we got quite nicely over there this time around, which is good. Car's going to clonk back down. He's actually doing pretty good. Um, that's surprisingly, surprisingly good. That's surprisingly bad through there. Uh, the frame rate, the frame rate on my game is perfect. The game is running at pretty much no fault. OBS is doing a dumb thing and I can't figure out what it is. And I can't figure it out while we're in the middle of a run. So we're going to have to hope that it fixes itself. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to have a panic. Um, again, folks. I have set this exactly the same as every other stream I ever do. I don't know why today it's doing silly things. I will fix it at the end of the run. Um, or I will try. If OBS decides it doesn't want to work, OBS decides it doesn't want to work and we've fallen over. Um, oh, Eve, don't knock the controller off onto the floor, bloody cat. Uh, <laughs> well, we've smashed the roof up. That's uh, something right there. Um, I actually really do not think we are going to have a problem with the spinners. I think we're too low. I think we're always going to go under the spinners. Oh, we are having a problem with the speed bumps. The car is fine. Um, like, drivability-wise, outside of the rear suspension... Well, well, there we go. That was always going to be a concern. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rear drive shaft on a front engine rear wheel drive car, or say rear drive main drive shaft, is the problem. And that will be the death of this. Um K series. Put up a valiant fight. I actually am surprised it was drive shaft that went before the uh wheels. I thought we were gonna ping a wheel off. That rear right does not look very well held in place. Um so yeah, I I did uh, I did think it was gonna be the wheel that uh 
that would go. However, it was not. Um, so, yeah, there we go. That is quite uh, quite an impressive one, to be honest with you. Uh, right, let's try and fix OBS. I don't know whether I might have to restart the stream. Uh, we will see. Oh. And, yeah, yeah we got pr some problems going on. Ah, oh, I hate computers. <laughs> um, I have no idea what to do with my PC. I tried upping the bit, right, and that just gives it a whole bunch of frame drive. Again, I haven't changed a damn setting. I haven't updated OBS because I don't update stuff unless it's broken. And I don't want to change something and break. Hold on, is it running? Okay. Oh, what is OBS doing? So, it seems to be when I'm click when when I tab over to Beam, OBS runs like an ass. When I tab over to OBS, it works fine. Um I'm at the point of where I'm about to throw the computer out the window, I think, today. Uh, uh, any tech people know why that's being stupid? Yeah, so it runs fine if I'm tabbed in. If I, so if I click on the OBS window, it runs perfectly smoothly, has no issues. The second I tab over to Beam, it has all sorts of problems. You were working last week! I've done nothing in that time. Ah. Awesome. Yeah. Why are you being so crap today? What do you even do? I'm not even doing anything stupid with the damn computer. Um, there's nothing running. I would just shut everything down. Oh, this stupid piece of crap. Uh, why is it? No, OBS is the primary thing. So there's no reason why that should be having problems. Uh, I don't, uh, I see, I'm also not a computer person, so I don't know how to fix any of this. Um, yes, I turn my computer off every day. It's not that, trust me. Um, ugh, stupid piece of junk. Uh, I I fear I'm just going to be at a point of say screw it and just continue. I mean, I can. Tr I mean, I say beam resolution is unlikely to be much. I mean, I can change the window size, but it's only we're only talking about millimeters here, if that. Ugh. Again, I'll oh, piss off you stupid, crappy computer. What are you doing? Uh, Alright. Oh, I'm going to restart Beam. This is what I needed today. This is absolutely what I needed. Piece of junk computer decided to not work properly. I love it. I love it. I'm going to try to load you up again. See if you can not be a piece of junk. Uh, right. Come on, Beam. Actually do something useful for once. Uh, I know there's a... Well, broken mod's irrelevant. They always come up with a million errors. Uh, Alright. Uh, it seems to be happier for the moment. We'll see if it remains happier when we, uh, when we go through. If Angry Alex makes Lado warm and fuzzy, I think you should probably go see a psychiatrist. Um, Nikolai, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, been loving catching these live streams. We'd love to see a uh, lime light green sport covered holding a caravan. I uh, can never get enough of that destruction and seeing bits go everywhere. Uh, we can have a go. We can have a go with a, a covert holding a caravan. That's, uh, that can only go well. That can that can only go well indeed. Um, I mean, the, the thing is, the caravan will break on the first jump. The um, 
cover. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that will go on the list. Lado, thank you for the donation. So, has a yellow flatbed with the biggest supercharger been requested yet? Uh, it has not. We can have a go with a yellow flatbed with the biggest supercharger. I'm quite sure what I've managed to do with all of this. Oh, it's because I shuffled the window it's by a few pixels. It's changed it slightly. Um... What are we going to be driving? Oh, we're going to look for a fire, a fire thing. Well, I down, I got a... So we don't have a fire... I don't have a fire truck. I did get this thing. Uh, Bruto uh, Grander. That's essentially like a Jeep with a whole load of um, funky specs. And there is a Fire Chief one. So this is along the lines of a hopper. I think it's a little bit different um, to a hopper. But we will find out. We will find out. There's a whole bunch of uh, more options here. Um, so, yeah, we will um, have a game crash on me. At some point, be more Star Wars. Well, here we go. Uh, we have got the, uh, the Jeep. So, we've got a fire department one. What was it? Like, shift and... Nope, wasn't that. That is not... There we go. We can get the lights on. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Brandon, thank you very much for the uh, super chat, saying, here's an idea. Uh, driven to destruction races. It is an idea, and it is an idea that I've already thought of and that we might see at some point. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, definitely don't uh, don't get out from seeing that in, uh, in the near future. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, can you do try survive the hunt, but they are the runners and you're the hunter? Maybe a, a a game in daytime at the same rules as normal. We have tried a version of that on GTA, if that's what you were talking about. Um, it, it was a bit wobbly um, in terms of making it work, but uh, we did have a go. It didn't, it didn't really work. It might be something that gets attempted again at some point uh, with maybe some different rules or some different... Um, uh, styles, that is for sure. Uh, Caleb, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, saying I'd like to request a base model sunburst with a CVT. We can potentially trade that or try as well. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see how. Oh, this has got an automatic gearbox. Um, yeah, we will. Oh, I don't, sunburst probably not going to live a huge amount of time, but you never know. Um, you ne you never know. Uh, we're going to. Oh, you bounce. The, the Bruto uh, through the jumpy section um, in all of this. Uh, so, the hopper, the vulnerabilities of the hopper are predominantly uh, steering related. I think that's what normally ends up killing them, is you get this, the steering rack bends in them, basically. And this is along the lines of a hopper. So I would potentially expect to see a similar things. Although, sometimes there are some strange occurrences. Oh, God, with these vehicles. Uh, oh, gearbox is garbage. Ah, oh, I've got to tell the spinners. <laughs> okay, well, game, don't... Whoa, okay, nope. Jeep, stop rolling through here. Thought I'd put your handbrake on. Bear with. <laughs> I mean, the spinners weren't exactly going to stop it on the... Uh, Oh, God, on the first attempt, it's not got broken steering, but we will put them on. Come on, go to... There we go. Uh, right, that's the ticket. All going nicely. Um, but yes, it is unlikely that these spinners are going to do much. Now, unlike with the K-Series that ran first, uh, if this gets hit by the spinners, it's going to hurt. Um, well, the understeer is absolutely shocking in this. It just doesn't turn. Um, <laughs> it, it really, really doesn't turn. Um, so, it doesn't turn and the gearbox is weird. It just wants to buzz the limiter. Oh, that's... Shafted has done a number on the steering. <laughs> oh, look at that axle shake on the front end. Oh, I know why we've got so much understeer. Well, it's not helping as I did lock the front diff, uh, which will not help with steering as such uh, that would that would probably explain some of it but shafted has wrecked the steering rack you see this is the concern with the steering rack is it does get back buckled and bent um, to quite a severe degree um, the diff locks normally put on because wheels get bent so quickly in this oh 
suspension might have gone on the front left. Um, yes, it's very easy for vehicles to require diff locks to keep moving. We've seen so many drive shafts and half shafts pop on these cars, so that might be why. Uh, Grumpy Potatoes, thank you for the uh, super chat. I'm curious to see if you can destroy uh, God Mode Vertex. I'm probably not if it's indestructible. Uh, I don't know. I, we do, I do have the Vertex mod installed. We can have a look. Although, if it's looking like I'm not, if it looks like I'm not doing anything to the uh, car, I might just use a normal vertex. We will, we will have to wait and see um, on that one. Uh oh, no, don't. Okay, it flew off the jump really badly, and we have lost steering. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I do not steer. I can see the bit turning. Wow, that is two two jumps is all it took to kill the steering on the uh, on the Bruto. That's it. I mean, it was the concern for it. As I said, I mean, we can roll it slightly off the road here. It was the concern. The, the, the biggest concern, the biggest problem was always likely to be the steering on the truck. And it's gone. It has gone. I mean, Shafted bent the whole thing, and then the finish line jump actually uh, snapped the last of it. But, uh, there we go. Yeah. The off-road truck did not survive particularly long. I mean, it's the way it goes sometimes. It is the way it goes sometimes. Um... Yeah, I think the front suspension had collapsed as well, which, uh... <laughs> Was, uh, yeah. That's not great. That is not great. But there we go. That is the end of, uh, of that one. Uh, Richard, thank you for the, uh, the super chat. Uh, saying steering wheel go brr. Uh, basically, that is just the sound of the ste <laughs> of the steering not doing anything at all. Uh, oh, poor, poor GP thing. Uh, right, what were we looking for? We were going to have a go with a covert of next. Um, Alright, because I've got so much here. Uh, we were going for a sporty covert. I mean, Ooh. let's go for the GTZ Turbo. I feel like this is a good idea. We're going to go for a GTZ Turbo. I wanted it in lime green. I'll do the colours in a second. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, there we go. And then we're going to have it towing a caravan. I don't know how how far that's going to survive. Uh, Crazy Baboon, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying, glad to see you at Driven to Destruction back. I have a joke for you. Uh, so it started raining where I lived. I tried to catch some, but I missed. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Oh, dearie me indeed. That is going to be a boo to you from chat and and from me. Yep. Yep. You are going to get a boo on that one. Uh, how green. There we go. That's the sort of green. I hope that's the sort of green you were looking for. Who was this one for? Uh, uh, Nikolai, I think. Um, that is... That is the sort of lime green that, uh, that you want. Uh, Dice, thank you for the... Uh, Super Chat saying, can we get an attempt with the caravan? Uh, we are indeed going to have a go with the caravan. Um, now, I did prove last time you can technically get a caravan through the spinners. So, the caravan's going to fall apart before we get to the spinners, I'm pretty confident. However, uh, we will give it a try. Um, and yeah, once, once the caravan has fallen apart, we'll go through the spinners, no problem, of course. Because... Uh, you know, the trailer will be low enough that it'll just go under. Uh, right, caravan. Could you... Now, the cover is probably not the best choice of tow vehicle. Uh, <laughs> it is a fast cover with a turbocharged engine and everything. However, <laughs> it is light. I'm worried what the caravan is going to do to my covert, but we shall give it a try. Uh, now... How do I zoom out? Is it three on the numpad? There we go. We have wandered back. Um, 
Uh, Racing Revel, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, Same so do the off road Gavril. Uh, if I have that, I, I can have a look. I can have a look. Oh, we got the right green. Fantastic. Place your bets, folks. How far is this going to make it? I'm not sure. I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope. Uh, Sylvia, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, a bit of a silly ask. Could you try the fire truck from the Stop the Beast episode? Uh, you are the second person to ask for it. Unfortunately, I don't have that mod. It was installed on the server, not on my end, and I do not have it. So, I do not have that installed. I cannot run the fire truck, I am, un I am afraid to say. We had a go with a fire truck spec vehicle that uh, sadly fell apart immediately. Oh, God, this is slow off the line. That did not want to get going. Well, Caravan, can you make it to the spinners? Oh, God. Very... The, the cover is unhappy. I'm going to put this... I'm just going to put this out there. The cover, very unhappy currently with this task. It has been given... It's so light! <laughs> the cover... The cover's so tiny compared to the caravan. Uh, I think that's going to be a big problem. We are trying to pull it through. I might have to just... Oh, I don't know what's going on with OBS. Might have to just remove... Uh, well, again, it's not the game. The game's running beautifully. Um, oh, dear. Caravan has fallen over. It's just OBS is running like ass. Uh, can you fall over? Uh, God, can you actually climb up? Again, I, I, I'm going to keep repeating them myself here. The game is not lagging. The game is playing perfectly fine. Um, it's OBS that has the problem. In fact, the OBS is not even dropping frames, so it's something else going on. Um, I tell you what, we have either broken the rear suspension or the way the caravan is pulling back on the car. I think it's just the way the caravan's pulling down because, well, the caravan is considerably bigger than the vehicle towing it. Um, <laughs> it's doing bad things to the rear suspension of the... Uh, Cover. Now, I made it. I've made it through here before with a caravan. It is not easy to do, but it is possible. Come on, cover. There we go. It is done. It is fine. We are through in one piece. I'm actually surprised the caravan has survived this far. It's gone over some bumps and gone over some jumps, and it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's the caravan is starting to disintegrate and it's going to disintegrate a lot more when we hit this jump. The shafted jump is going to cause problems. Oh no. No. Um This is not ideal for us. Well, the uh, the radiator has gone. <laughs> The poor cover. I mean, it, it could have been worse, to be honest with you. It, it was like it, it was unfortunate that it landed on the front. Um, oh, the caravan is actually starting to fall apart as well a little bit. But of, of all of the caravan runs I've had in this series, this is one of the more entertaining. In that uh, the the caravan hasn't just fallen apart in one hit. Oh. Okay, we have kind of jackknifed it a little bit. Come on, little covert. Be good. Uh, Dover might be a bad thing. Dover might be a bad thing for the covert and caravan concoction here. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Go covert. <sighs> no. Well, the caravan's still kind of attached. I mean, the next jump it's not going to be. It's mostly attached. Surprisingly still in one... Still connected to the trailer. Uh, oh, there we go. It's back on. It's fine. Nothing to see here. The uh, caravan is still... Oh, I don't know what is hooked on. It is kind of still hooked on, though. Oh, no, there it is. It's gone. It has fallen off. Uh, we have one bit of caravan in our boot. And that's it. Caravan is no more. The Covert's engine is, I mean, the primary concern. I can't handle it. The steering's actually a little bit bent in this. Okay. Um, the car handles considerably better than I expected it. Oh, it, yeah, sorry. it handles considerably better now. Oh. 
than with the trailer having lost a bunch of the weight. Oh, I don't want to go up there particularly. But there is a handling issue. Uh, the, the, of course, the all-important toilet is still on the trailer. Um, the, the trailer is... Oh, carrying that toilet. The bath has fallen off. The little whatever box it is at the front. Oh, God, this aquaplane's terribly... I thought it was the caravan that caused the worst of the aquaplane last time around. It wasn't. No, no, the car... The combination just aquaplanes something awful. Um, all right. Through these squares of doom we go. Uh, that's... I mean, not fine, but... Uh, It'll, it'll work. We should be able to get past the spinners. The engine is getting hot, but it's not going to instantly pop when it gets to the uh, temperature. And the covert's pretty resilient, I'll give it that. And of course, now we don't really have to worry about the spinners. They're not really that much of a concern for us. Um, the covert's mostly low enough to go under them. The trailer won't hit them. I mean, we've, we've outdone a hopper. My steering is a bit bent and the trailer sometimes has a mind of its own as to where it wants to go. Uh, that could combine the car pulling to the left and the fact that the trailer sometimes dictates where we go. Well, the oil pan's gone, but we were going to overheat anyway, so <laughs> the oil pan is a little bit irrelevant at this stage. Oil pan, you can do what you like, but it will not matter. Um, yeah. The engine can be out of oil, but it's gonna. the engine's going to overheat. Oh from the loss of coolant, I should think, before the oil becomes a problem. But the little covert that could is still going pretty well. Uh, somewhere around here is a caravan. Oh, engine is starved of oil. Uh, the, the engine is starved of oil and I am starved of steering. Oh, we're losing the turbo now. <laughs> the toilet trailer. I mean, the toilet might outlive the car. Also, the caravan shell is in the way. Oh, well, the caravan shell is uh, has been punctured by the uh, <laughs> by the trailer that it came on. Um, right, here we go. Over the jump we head. Rod bearings are damaged. The engine is overheating quite badly now, and. Make that jump, but we're going to make another lap. Can we get? I mean, if we can get to shafted, we could beat the ETK that we ran. Oh, that's a speed bumps are doing nasty things to us. Now, I am allowed, of course, to use the node grabber to flip things over. Whoop, I don't want to be pulling the trailer along. The toilet's still on the trailer, <laughs> stunningly. The toilet is still here, the toilet is still surviving. I've got a lot of camber going on. The turbo is overheating. We still actually have boost pressure, which surprises me. Okay, car. Cool! Cool down in the water. Maybe don't go straight on. No, never mind. <laughs> I wanted it to cool down. <laughs> never mind. Um, uh, well, we cooled it. Kind of. Ish. <laughs> oh, the engine is melted. It is no more. The toilet survives, I will say. Um, I'm going to remove the caravan because the debris is everywhere. Uh, the covert can stay. That's actually, for, for a car that is absolutely awful in terms of uh, the pulling a caravan, that is pretty good going. That is pretty good going indeed. Uh, I don't know if that's an engine... The engine was overheating anyway. Some, I have We have seen this in the past, that uh, the... Um, when the engines are overheating, if they do take a hit, it does tend to kill them. So I think it's a combination, but I, I think it was perhaps more overheating than it was... Um, the impact, but it might have been a little bit of both. Still, yeah, not a bad showing at all from the car. Uh, we are going to remove that. We can tab through. We can kind of shuffle, or shuffle this a little bit out of the way, the cover. It's good showing, though. 
it was a uh, was a good showing indeed from this. I mean, if, basically, if if something hits the cover, it's in trouble anyway. Just an extra bright green bit of barrier for us. Uh, I just see someone in chat saying, uh, "Did I have the frame rate locked? I might have had the might have done something with the frame rate." Um, to uh, I can't remember where the setting is for it. It's it would make sense. I'm probably blind. Uh, display maybe. Ah, maybe that was it. I thought I had limited it to sixty. To be honest, uh, maybe a beam update might have fixed it. That does actually seem to have fixed. Thank you, wonderful, clever tech per person. That does seem to have fixed OBS being dumb. Hey, <laughs> look at that. OBS is seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, so ah, uh, I think I know what it is. Actually, yes. Uh, what it is, is my game was running at higher than 60, and OBS didn't know what to do with the extra frames, I think. I think that's what it was doing. So, that would make sense. That would make sense. Um, there we go. Thank you, folks. <laughs> that is that is now much better. Hey, we have us usable visuals. I, I don't quite know when... I thought I had limited beam to that before, but I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Maybe an update at some point reverted it and I forgot about it, but there we go. Um, I need a big drink. Thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Uh, so if you have a rock bouncer, uh, you should send it. We can have a go with a rock bouncer at some point. Absolutely. Um, D and Rob, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying a good morning. Uh, really enjoying it Driven to Destruction. I thought maybe a 1930s vehicle would have a super strong chassis uh, and saw the uh, Gavril Panther. And uh, my dad's 1930 Buicks are really heavy, so I thought maybe. We can have a go with that. We can definitely have a go with that. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you for nation, saying how about a hopper? Just a regular hardtop version. Extreme stuff. We can... Uh, Try and get round to one of those. Uh, to JZ GTE, thank you for the donation. Saying third beam stream in a row. I uh, love these Friday streams, uh, and I'd love to see the custom variant of the Blue Buck try and survive the chaos of the uh, Driven Till Destruction circuit. It can absolutely um, have uh, have a go around there. Uh, Ross Crashtain, thank you. I love the name. Thank you for the donation. Saying why don't skydivers like to make appointments? Uh, they prefer to drop in. Oh dearie me. <laughs> oh dearie me. That is going to be a boo to you from chat and from me. Absolutely going to be a boo to you there. Uh we're going to here we go. This is gonna be our next vehicle. This is gonna be our next vehicle. It's it's the Lado truck. It's the Lado truck. Uh, with the biggest supercharger, wasn't that was what was requested? Biggest supercharger. I might also have to give it a... Uh, give it... Uh, well, I don't quite know. I don't have a supercharger option. I can only turbo it. Unless you put... I guess you had the V8... Sure, we'll go with a V8 with uh, Stage 3 Supercharger, but I will give it an upgraded radiator because otherwise it will probably melt itself. Uh, ultra High Performance Radiator. Uh, the engine has immediately been disabled. Okay. Um, ah, uh, ah, Lados was the van. Okay, never mind. We all go, was it H-Series? Okay, we can find a H-Series. That engine was blowing itself up anyway for reasons I don't quite understand. Uh, <laughs> right, H-Series. Ah, it was this one, was it? Uh, cool, never mind. That will, this will also work. Uh, replace the current, and hopefully it will do... I mean, it should be... Oh, I didn't have the wrong fuel tank. Never mind, we've got a different truck anyway. Uh, so, does this then let us have... Are you sure it was a supercharger? Are you sure... Did you change the engine? I guess you might have changed the engine to the, the this one. Uh, and then... We would need to change the fuel tank... To... Uh, 
uplift gasoline fuel tank. There we go. Okay, that will work. Uh, <laughs> so, supercharged monster. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Uh, heavy duty radiator, ultra high performance radiator is what we're going to put in it. And, of course, we shall make it the yellowest of yellows. That looks about right. Fantastic. We're going to lock up the rear diff because otherwise we're going to have one fire tires for days. The Lado Recovery Service. Jeez. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> if your recovery truck turns up and sounds like that, I'd be impressed. I'd be impressed, to be honest with you. Um, it is it is mighty sounding engine right there. Um All right. What do you reckon, folks? <laughs> it's it's. I I would be impressed if this survives for a long amount of time. Oh, one thing I will have to do: turn that off. Don't want traction control. Now, not only do I not want traction control because oh, we can put the lights on as well. Can't we? control N. Oh, never mind. Not control N. Uh. Regardless, the lights have already fallen off while I was farting about with stuff. So it's kind of irrelevant anyway. Uh, this thing is absolutely savage. It's very quick when it gets going. It should get through the spinners, I'm hoping. We're going to give it a try anyway. Um, it's going to have handling problems, but we have seen um, that the heavyweights have got considerably stronger in this than back when I ran this as a, as a main series. So it might survive a while. The concern will be, oh, we're going to drift the recovery truck. Oh, a little bit. And there's a bit of drifting. Oh, a bit too much drifting recovery truck. Oh, whoops. It's a foul race drift. It's managed to fall over. No. <laughs> and landed it and can carry on. All is fine. Uh, Twisted Nothing, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. So usually I don't get to watch your streams uh, live today. I do, hurrah! Ah, oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, also, I was wondering, what are your PC specs? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> don't remember. I built it... I, don't, sorry, I, I didn't personally build it. I spec'd it a good few years ago now. Um, it At the time, it was very powerful. At the moment, it's quite good. I would... Kind of like a new one, but that's more. That's more a just want a higher tech one. Um, I ca yeah, I honestly can't remember. I'm not really a computery person, funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh oh, we've got bounced on the landing. Oh, that's a big crunch. Surprisingly, everything's okay. I do wonder if the back part is looking to fall off, but. Yeah, for the moment, it is hanging on. For the moment it is hanging on through here. Um, over Dover we go. I mean, it hit the front on the floor quite hard. But, I mean, it's it's fine. Like, hitting the front's not too bad until we start breaking the radiator. Um, I'm not sure whether the how the bed's going to really affect the, the recovery truck. The bed looks very, very weird and very broken, which is not so helpful. It's very weird and very busted. It's probably going to fall off, or what's going to happen is it's going to sort of half fall off and get caught on something, and that's going to be what kills us. Uh, I think the bed, because it's kind of tipping and flexing, does make things look worse than it actually is. Oh, that, I mean... It's rode across there quite well. Uh, I would bet on drive shaft failure being the cause of death. Normally it is with these kind of heavy duties um, vehicles, but uh, also this because this isn't the, the indestructible diesel engine. It's the supercharged petrol. Overheating is probably like the, the oil pan. We've seen the trucks survive for ages with no oil pan and no radiator. They just go on forever, but this uh, this engine won't. This is a much more high-performance engine, so it won't survive the uh, lack of radiator. Really shouldn't be drifting the recovery truck. 
that time. That time we did it right. That time we did the drift and didn't roll over. I or, or we did it wrong, depending on your perspective. Um, oh, oh crap. Okay, no, we're fine. We've actually got that turn in there relatively well. Good recovery truck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, outside of the bed and a minor bit of bodywork damage, not much has happened to the truck. Like, mechanically speaking, it's pretty good. Mechanically speaking, and I say that when I last said mechanically speaking, the car immediately hit shafted and lost its drive shaft. So, you know, that is a distinct possibility here. Oh! New one! New distinct possibility! We've lost a fuel tank! Uh, the bed's got worse. I wonder if the bed actually ruptured the fuel tank. Because uh, the bed collapsed. Now, I'm hoping this has two fuel tanks, but I bet it doesn't. Uh, the One of the big T-series had multiple fuel tanks. Um, when you punctured one, there was still a backup one. However, a fuel tank wasn't what I would have had on cause of death. Well, I guess there's a chance something might kill it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. Oh, it's on fire! Oh, damn, there's problems! Problems! <laughs> Truck's on fire! <laughs> Doors come off, that's the least of my concerns. Everything's got very hot all of a sudden. The brakes are melted, the engine's melted. Um... Yep, that's the thing. Well, well, we're out of fuel now. <laughs> that, that, that went from 0 to 100 real quick. Everything was fine, and then everything all of a sudden wasn't. I mean, the fire's got out because he's out of petrol. So, I guess there's that. <laughs> oh, it was entertaining, I'll give it that. I was not expecting that. Of all the possible things, of all the possible things to see, that wasn't wasn't one of the things that I thought I was going to see occur on this truck. Uh, so, yeah, that, that is quite something. That is, that is quite something indeed. Um, all right, apologies. Ah, I figured out where I can track Super Chat. Sorry, because I, I lost, uh, had a pain in, uh, keeping track of all of those, but I have just figured out where they go. So, right, they can appear there so I can keep track of that stuff as well. Um, it was a much better death than an oil pan failure. It was a much better death than oil power. It's the first fuel tank failure on this circuit. It is the first fuel tank failure on this circuit since I kind of bought it back. Um, the, the curse of the commentator is incredibly powerful. Once again, it was jinxed, cursed, and immediately uh, died. The shafted is always the jump that does do something. It was a glorious death. It was an absolutely glorious death right there. Uh, so 10 out of 10 on the death for the truck. That's 3.3 miles, not shabby. It wasn't a terrible run whatsoever. Uh, we will move on next to a what's this? Andrew, the sunburst. Uh, no, sorry, it wasn't Andrew. It's was Caleb. I apologise. The sunburst with the CVT. So this is going to be like just the most bogo standard sun. Here we go. One point eight litre CVT, front wheel drive. Hmm. What do we reckon? I reckon not long. Front wheel drive is bad. Front wheel drive tends to get beaten up pretty bad. The sunburst is quite strong. I reckon a couple of laps. I don't think we're going to beat the Lado recovery truck. I think, I think the Lado recovery truck uh, is going to uh, to do. Quite well. So a CVT is a constant variable transmission, uh, which basically I, I couldn't possibly hope to explain the mechanics of it, but it it essentially is supposed to keep the bloody hell. Let's do a front flip. Keeps the car doesn't really have gears as such. It kind of keeps the car. Though this CVT doesn't really sound like a normal CV. This sounds more like an automatic. I'm not quite sure. Um, if it is working, um, but yeah, it's it's a, a an unusual style of gearbox. You do find them in a few cars. Williams tried one in a Formula One car, I think, at one point, and it never actually happened. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it's a special type of gearbox designed to make a car very efficient, but generally a bit crap to drive, and they're a bit noisy and dr a lot of like UTVs and those off-road vehicles use them um, for that kind of stuff. It shouldn't really be revving like this, which makes me think it's uh, either I've picked the wrong one or it's not quite uh, simulated as such. Not sure. However, I mean, it survived a front flip without actually that much damage, which is kind of quite surprising. I was, uh, I was expecting, expecting more. I've never driven anything with a CVT, so I don't actually know how they, oh well, the only experience I've had of them is with like the off-road, uh, like Can-Am style buggies or whatever you want. Yeah, I think it's UTVs and so on. Uh, it's a strange, they're a strange thing. I've never seen, never, I know they are in a few, um, road cars. I've just never experienced one. Shafted does nothing. I mean, it pinged a door out. Surprisingly resilient little bugger. I, sh again, shouldn't say too much, because I know what the... <laughs> uh, I know what the game is like. Uh, Dover... I mean, we've still got enough speed that we should be able to clear Dover quite nicely. Here. We should be able to fly over Dover and land relatively flat. Oh, there's a wheel there. I'm going to guess that came off Lado recovery service. Uh, <laughs> that was, I think that was a spare wheel that came off of the Lado recovery service. Oh, clonky clonky over there. Um, uh, racing Revel, thank you for the super chat. Actually, what I said, the uh, Gavril off-road, I meant the H-series off-road. Okay, okay, well, that could be, that will be interesting. It'll be potentially very strong, but it'll tip over quite easily. Um, well, we will see how the H-Series off-road does compared to the H-Series recovery service. Uh, right, fly something back. See what, this thing is surprisingly rapid. I will, I will say, this thing is surprisingly quick for a base model car. I mean, it's way faster than I thought it was going to be. I have bent something in the steering. Something in the steering has gone wrong. Um, I don't quite know what. It's not really bad yet. But it is quite bad. It's bad enough that it's now being noticed. Uh, we do not aquaplane. That is always nice uh, to not have to deal with, essentially. But the, the sunburst that could is... Uh, is it tripod? No, not quite. It looked like it did briefly. It definitely has... Squee... Oh, God. <laughs> but it's definitely not the sportiest of... Some bursts. Oi. It's fine. We'll clonk over the Toblerones. And it really is in remarkably decent shape. This is when it turns out... How far did the rally sunburst go? Thinker, you had... I think you... I don't, I don't know whether you still got all of the, the leaderboard somewhere. Uh, rally sunburst. The first episode we did back around here. I think a rally sunburst went the furthest. Um, I mean, I, this surely can't beat the rally car, but... Sunburst does have pedigree. I just didn't expect this to, um... Oh, God. <laughs> expect this to go as well. Um... <laughs> That's a bit a bit uh, dangerous. Uh, so the, the Rally Sunburst made it 7.6 miles. Um, we'll see. If, I, I don't think we will beat that, but you never know. My, the, rally, the Rally car died from... Oh! both the drive shafts failing in this. Of course, we don't have the luxury of four-wheel drive. We can't, you know, we lose a drive shaft, we're out. This won't have lock stiffs. It won't be allowed to drive as a one-wheel drive. So if we lose, well, front half shafts or whatever, we will, it will be game over, basically. Um, but I will give the car credit. Despite it being very front heavy, it is doing remarkably well. Uh, Grumpy Potatoes, thank you for the uh, super chat. I said I made 20 mile in a D series uh, D10 Z uh, Zeta. Zeta. Uh, can you try it? We can have a go. We can have a go. Uh, we have popped the radiator, so we will overheat. Now, overheating is not an instant death, of course. We will be able to go a bit further. Oh, we might not be able to go much further. Steering's gone. Steering's gone. It took the wheel off. I don't know whether we can steer. If I can't make this corner without having to grab reverse, it will be over. It will be game over. I think it's gone. The steering. Ah. Oh. The wheel is... Yeah. It's dead. It's toast. <laughs> oh. 
and into the wall and parked. That's unfortunate. That is an unfortunate one. It was starting to take damage on that corner. The radiator was gone. It was going to overheat at some point. However, the wheel bent in such a way that is always going to be a problem. Yeah, the front left just stopped working. Sometimes you can get away with... Uh, with, the, with with one wheel steering. Sometimes you can't. Depends on how they break. And that is, yeah. Kaput is the technical term for the Sunburst. A good showing, though. I am impressed. I'm very impressed, actually, with the strength of that car. Uh, I think it's quite an unlucky hit, really, that killed it. A lot stronger than I thought it would be. A lot stronger than I thought it would be. Um, now, up next... Well, so Grumpy, Grumpy Potatoes asked for a couple of supposedly or potentially very, very strong cars. Uh, and an, an indestructible car, or a god mode car, that I don't quite know how it'll work. And a D-series uh, Zeta. Now, I'm going to have a go, because I don't want the entire episode to just be indestructible cars. I will, I don't know if I can do both of them. If I have time, we'll come back to potentially the god mode Vertex. I'll have a go with the D-series Zeta. I am curious. Now, I do know this vehicle. I think I've used it for something uh, before. And there is a chance, there's a chance that it will survive for a while. Uh, here, this is your sort of ideal vehicle, but there are a couple of concerns. Hell, the beasts died on these kind of circuits. These cars do die around here. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much for the super chat, saying, are there any old-timey cars you could try? Uh, something like a Model A or Model T. Uh, I know they wouldn't last long, but it would amuse me. Ah, well, you are in luck. Uh, somebody else requested one as well. There is, I have got one. I have got one downloaded. So there is one on the way. Uh, never fear. We're going to lock the rear diff. Uh, we want four-wheel drive, high gear with this. I would be surprised... I would be surprised if we get 10, 12 miles, but you never know with uh, with these. I have had incredibly long distances out of vehicles that uh, you wouldn't expect. Oh, actually, before I do set off, apologies. Donations I haven't read out. Um, uh, Alex Anderson, thank you for the uh, donation, uh, saying a red flying thing, or as normal people say, uh, the hyper bolide. And I do have that mod, although I don't quite know how I have that mod, because I didn't intentionally download it, so I don't know if mine was going to work, but I can try it. Uh, <laughs> Dave and Nate, thank you for the donation. So I want to see the Baja Picker Lena. Uh, pink, of course. We can have a go with one of those. It might be... We have we have had one run, so I'll go with a slightly different spec and mess around with one. Uh, Drake, thank you for the... Um, uh, donation saying haiku time. Uh, enjoy. Uh, breakdown truck on fire. Uh, quick, quick, call the fire fire truck out. Oh, Alex, not uh, got its mods. <laughs> Very accurate. Very accurate indeed. Uh, P.S. Time to get away from bums. How about the chat does burps instead? Oh God, don't let uh, don't let bloody chat start that one. That's a dangerous game to play. Um, Half dead. Thank you for the donation. Saying how do you uh, catch a Unique rabbit, uh, you unique up on it. That's going to be a boo to you from me, and from chat. Um, uh, evil half dead. Thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, how do you catch a tame rabbit? Uh, tame away. You're just gonna get double boos. Just double boos from everyone, and definitely from me. Um, you are definitely worthy of double boos. Uh, <laughs> We're going to set off with this supercharged, incredibly powerful truck. Now, there are... The suspension's going to hold for a while, but hell, we've seen trophy trucks die on these courses. The, um... The suspension will hold for a while, but if it breaks, when it potentially breaks, after multiple laps of ridiculous abuse, could be in some very serious trouble. Um... We will have to wait and see. It's shaking itself about across like the checkerboard, for example. You can see how much it's flexing. Now, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter at the moment about that, but if it gets damaged, that might become a big problem. Uh, Toblerones, you shouldn't be a problem for this truck. Uh, so, big concerns are multiple landings oh, uh, on shafted. Well, I should... 
think, eventually collapse the suspension. That's concern number one. Bigger concern is if it rolls over for any reason, if we have a slightly wonky takeoff or if we get slightly bent steering and becomes difficult to drive over the jumps, uh, we, we might end up seeing is wheels falling off. If the wheels start falling off the truck, that would be bad. Uh, we don't want the wheels falling off the truck at all. Um, I think the steering's already slightly bent. <laughs> I think that steer is already pulling to the right. So the first type, yeah, it is. You can already see. So the first hit on shafted has already buckled the front wheel. The front wheel is pulling quite badly. Um, and again, we're talking quite badly for the first lap in a big off-road truck. It's not quite badly compared to some of the vehicles that have gone around here. But it's not what you want to see on your first lap with this. Ideal, uh, so I don't know. Ideally, you want to keep damage away from that corner now. The last thing... Actually, the whole steering rack's twisted. Yeah, the whole steering rack is twisted, so I have to fight this thing. Massively. Um, that's a... That, oh, God, that's a real... Okay, I've got real steering problems. It barely turns left anymore. That steering rack, the whole thing's twisted. I don't know what... Was that all shafted? It might have been a jump later. Um... Yeah, okay, that's a real problem. Imme well, we've immediately run into an issue here. Uh, this, so this is quite tall, quite understeery, and has now got busted steering heading towards the spinners. This could have some problems there. Uh, yeah, that steering is just knackered immediately. Um, hmm. Okay. I mean, there's not too much that I can... I can't really do anything about it. I'm just hoping it doesn't plow. I'm going to actually maybe turn the diff... I mean, I turned off the front diff locks. I'm going to turn off uh, all the diff locks in an attempt to help maybe with hand. I don't know why it would, but... Okay, so we'll turn to the... L oh, God, to the right fine. It's turning it to the left. Th okay, we can still do it. It's still got the steering lock to make it. It's just a bit sketchy. Um, oh, come on. Bloody hell. Well, I've definitely found the vehicle's weakness. And the other, the other thing you get with a vehicle like this as well uh, is even with steering damage, this is still quick. So the steering damage doesn't stop... Oh, no! That's what I didn't want. <laughs> I literally, as I was taught... Actually, I mean, in some ways, that's kind of made it better handling. <laughs> oh, that has bent the rear left, I think. Uh... Oh, I, okay, no, I pressed a button. What about I press? Oh, okay, there's a, one of the buttons on the back of my controller does a gear shift. I think we might have to lock some diffs up now. Because um, we're now a three-wheel vehicle. So, one of the concerns that I was saying is, when a vehicle like this does have broken steering, it's still got a lot of power, so it's still actually quite fast. Um, which means you're still hitting jumps with a broken car quite quickly. We have definitely done something to the rear left. However, yeah, missing a front wheel has made things go so much better. Uh, <laughs> it's so much nicer to drive now than it was before we lost the front wheel. So who knew? Crashing fixes thing. Well, I not really fixed things as much as... Solved some of my problems, really. It does look like the rear axle's twisted, or the body's twisted, and I'm not sure which is the better option. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we will. We will see. Uh, Dice, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. I say, can we see the, the AW Astro 1.82 country do the run? Oh, and the uh, Salita mod. It's a very interesting variant that might be fun in the future. It does have some very fun variants indeed. We can have a go with the Astro, absolutely. Um, uh, what the, we had a police version run last week. Last week? We had a police version run of the Astro that was really bloody good. So... <laughs> Yeah, you can have a go with that. Old truck, please turn. Now, one issue I do have with the fact that it's lost a wheel is I've got to go across the checkerboard. Oh, and that's going to dig in like that. And it's going to dig in and hit the underside. Now, most of that damage is being done to the, uh, uh, the corner of the car that doesn't really matter. But if it does start catching um, important bits of truck, 
That could be a problem indeed. Uh, Colin, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Much appreciated. I wasn't a message with it, but thank you very much. Um, okay. Truck. I, uh, this is the... Oh, can you make this turning? Oh, yep. <laughs> Not very well, but you can make it. <laughs> It was only a little lot. I mean, it's taken a knock from the spinners. It's not actually done much, all things considered. However, I am missing a wheel. And the wheel that's good is not pristine, so we're going to have problems going through... Oh, crap. Problems! Problems! <laughs> For God! <laughs> it's gone. It's done. It is game over. The uh, Zeta has lost both its front wheels. D <laughs> oh, and now it's a motorbike. <laughs> no more. No more Zeta anymore. That's... Uh, honestly, I am so surprised. I mean, it'll drive, but it's got no steering. Uh, the drive's no problem, but if I'd lost a rear wheel, it'd be fine. The steering just got broken on lap one. I don't quite know. That is not what I expected. I didn't think it was going to make 20 miles. I did think it was going to survive a lot longer than that. But yeah, it, it shafted jump killed the steering. I mean, it landed the first jump well. That's the thing. It hit the landing and shafted with it. It should have been fine, but nope. It just snapped the, uh, the or bent the steering really badly, and it just got worse. That's quite impressive. Genuinely was not expecting that one. In the slightest. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, uh, Crazy Baboon, thank you very much for the super chat. I say you did, uh, you did, Lado, how about uh, a T-series recovery, please? Ah, okay, we can maybe have a go with one of those at some point. Um... Yeah, that that is quite an impressive failure. That is that is quite an impressive failure right there. Um, <laughs> it has it has let go. Um, well, I'm I'm a bit stunned. I am a bit stunned by all of that. Ah, <sighs> well, there we go. We're on to the hyper bolide next, which is going to be well. It might might work. I mean, it's a bolide. I know exactly what's going to happen. Is he going to get uh, the speed bumps and disintegrate? Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe the hyper bolide can do better than any bolide has done before. I'm not going to hold out crazy hope, but I don't even know if the mod's going to work. I will just say, oh, there are other versions of this that I didn't know about. I mean, that's cool. I mean, we have to do the flyy car. Um, <laughs> um, right. Uh, car? There we go. So, we are going to extend these. Oh, are we gonna, ah, oh, you know what? We're gonna try and drive, so we're gonna drive it, not with the engine, we're gonna drive it on the rockets. So, and I'm gonna try and not take off. Actually, that's going to be a problem over some of the jumps here. The, uh... Because <laughs> it will just want to fly when we go over some of these. Uh, although I doubt I'm going fast enough. I'm not actually sure. And I'm not sure whether... I'm probably not going to generate enough speed to take off. Which is fine. I mean, the Bolide's made it across some speed bumps and hasn't disintegrated. Uh, we may have to go round the spinners. More for width than for length, if I'm honest with you. Um, we won't. Well, I don't, I mean, I guess, actually, here's a very important question. If I manage to bend the bodywork and the rockets end up not pointing backwards, what happens then? There is a question I hadn't thought about Ooh. until just now. Uh, I guess we could maybe... I don't even know if we... I mean, we can just do that, I guess, and drive through. I think we'd struggle to fit around the back of the spinners as well. Um, so we can kind of cheat for the moment, although if the engine breaks, I guess we can't cheat going through there, but that works. 
Um, right, now this car very much does have a chance of completely clearing the fence, so <laughs> we've got to not fly the car too fast over here. Um, ooh, okay, we're fine. We're actually relatively okay. Uh, it does take the jumps quite well, and I guess we can ultimately... We're not really going fast enough to take off, but we can at least... Ooh, careful, the thing is very wide. Thing is very wide. Remember that. Remember how wide the flying car is. Uh, we can maybe use the tail to level out a little bit. Um, just, just a smidge. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your name. Uh, he he Hepatus. Hepatus. I'm definitely mispronounced that one. Thank you very much for the super chat. Saying, do you have the mod for random parts? I don't at the moment. No. I do not have the random part mod, I'm afraid, so we cannot be, uh, we cannot be playing around with that, which is saying that's actually a really cool mod. Um, but no, unfortunately, I do not have that one. Uh, we're going, uh-oh, uh-oh, get down, car. We very nearly, <laughs> we very nearly found ourselves going into the start-finish line. That would be a new one. No car has ever made it into that. Uh-oh. Um... I don't quite know what I hit then. <laughs> Something's happened. I think it's broken. The rocket. I think the rockets are broken. Uh, can we do this? Yeah, my rockets are broken. Whatever. The landing killed the rockets, so I'm now a rocketless car. Well, so much for using the rockets, I guess. <laughs> It's just it's killed the rockets. Something on that landing it did not agree with. Um, oh, did we run out of fuel with the rockets? No, it seems like it still had fuel. I don't know. Oh, it's possible it broke something in it. Um, oh, was it the the RPM meter the fuel in the rocket? Oh, okay, maybe we ran out of fuel in the rockets then. Maybe it's not got the biggest fuel tank. I don't know. We are back to being a car now. Although this has done considerably better than any bolide else has done, so that's saying that's something at least. Uh, we have got a flat tyre, but they're not the biggest concerns. The tyre, the wheel's still attached to the car. <laughs> you know, we're fine. The wheel's still attached, we're okay, basically. Um, we can make it through there. There's... I mean... I guess theoretically I could glide the car if necessary. Oh, okay, I don't really steer very well to the right anymore. Uh, that's... Concerned. It's not that, uh, yeah, the wheel, that tyre, that rear left wheel is buckled at a funny angle as well as having a tyre down, I think. Uh, so there are some handling concerns. I've just noticed how there are two wheels in the same spot on the landing of Shafty. Uh, I think both of the trucks, the Zeta's wheels, ended up in the same place. Oh, come on, come on, difficult uh, to drive machine. You are fine. And you have fallen over. I mean, not the worst problem to have uh, to have happened. Bolides can be low enough to go under the spinners, but this one here is actually higher than a normal bolide. Uh, so I'm not going to risk it. Also, front left's very poorly. Just notice the front left is not really working properly anymore. Um, the front left, it's connected, but it's hanging on by a thread. Please land on the... Oh, I don't actually know if I want to land on the front left corner or the front right corner, to be honest with you. I mean, neither would be preferable. I think I might have got rear right suspension damage as well going on. That corner seems to be sinking more than just the tyre. It's still going, but I don't know for how much longer... I mean, as funny as the flying car was, oh, and I mean, it's considerably better than a normal bolide, it is looking pretty poorly at this stage, certainly in terms of steering control, and I mean, potentially drive control if the rear right has a problem. Um, I mean, you can actually see there, you can see how much lower the bottom suspension arm is on the left-hand side than the right-hand side, sorry. That's significant. 
That is su that is some significant damage right there. In fact, he's got way worse that time around as well. So that's not helping. Not only does my front wheel barely work, the uh, rear is seriously hampering the handling uh, ability. All right, <laughs> it's a real problem. Uh, but it's we're still going. We're still going. Shafted could well be our undoing here. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's got very difficult. Oh, don't land on that corner. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Colin, thank you very much for the uh, for the super chat. Uh, just saying, hashtag foul race. Indeed, a, a hashtag we should get trending all the time. But uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, come on, flappy wheel. Oh, flappy wheel. What are you doing? I don't know how that wheel is still hanging on, if I'm honest with you. It's doing a, res you know, a resoundingly good job at this point. Oh, still the wheel survives. Uh, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's going to survive the next time. Maybe we have got oh a new leader for today. Hyperbolide is putting in a hell of a stint, considering what it is, and oh, considering I thought it was going to fall apart immediately, it has done very very well. We're going to clear this jump again. We're almost going to visit Lado's recovery service. Uh, come on, Bolide. Oh, don't do that. The engine, I, maybe with all of the other stuff in this car, the engine is well protected. The engine isn't really taking a battering. Uh-oh. And this is, I should say, the Hyper Bolide is based on the old version of the Bolide, so it doesn't have the same splitting in half properties that the new one does, but more... Uh, it's got much lifted, much more lifted suspension and stronger suspension, uh, unlike the bolides that we tried last week that fell apart very quickly. Uh, although it's, yeah, tendency to fling itself around could be its undoing. Uh, <laughs> how much is that? That rear corner's collapsed so far. It corners like a trophy truck. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I got distracted trying to make a corner, silly. Uh, it literally is cornering like a trophy truck at this point, uh, which is quite impressive for a supercar. However, less helpful getting it through the spinners. Uh, we're still fine. Um, yeah, the Hyperbolide is a very odd mod. It's been around for a long, long, long time. But uh, he's doing a good job at the moment. What will happen over shafted? I mean, I've got to try and keep it in a straight line heading towards it, which is proving difficult, because the car does like to wander a lot. Oh. Jeez. It's basically landed the, uh, the main jam damaging jump on the broken wheel every time, and it's still alive. It just refuses to give up. See, unfortunately, Lombo is not around to... I don't know if Lombo's around today. I don't think I've seen Lombo in chat so far. To see a Bolide actually live up to their um, uh, lofty expectations. The normal Bolides did terribly, but this thing is putting in a stint and a half here. And it's still going relatively quickly as well. It's not like it's clawing its way along at 10 miles an hour. It is going... Still got a lot of speed. I mean, what does it take to break the hyperbolide? We will find out. But well, I thought the Zeta was going to be the. Uh oh, nope, we're fine. I thought the Zeta was going to be the near indestructible thing. When it turns out, it's a bolide. It's a bolide with some handling issues now, but a bolide nevertheless that is proving to be seriously strong. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, Lado is Lombo from Wish. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. We have got more. We have got more issues now. We've got it's all the left-hand side. We've got big issues. It's, the suspension's really collapsing now uh, down there. That is a problem over over the checkerboard. But it still made it. I mean, the the, <laughs> the front left is so broken. That uh, the wheel is hopping around. Oh. Uh, as, again, messing about with the wheel through that corner. The wheel is like folding over on itself. How that wheel is still attached, I don't know. That 
really shouldn't be. It's a resi damn resilient thing here. We're heading towards the spinners now. I think we're actually so broken we could just go out under them. I think the suspension's so collapsed, I'm pretty sure we could now just skirt under them. The downside is we are getting to low-slung bolide territory where bits of scenery are going to be a problem for us. Now, I want to be going about 65 miles an hour over this jump. Don't want to be going over the jump like that, that's for sure. Hello, Zeta. Nope, still fine. Somehow we're still fine. I'm not 100% sure how. <laughs> It's ridiculous. How are you still alive? This might make the 10 mile mark, you know. This might do it. I don't know if it's going to, but... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I had to commentate a curse it. Now... I don't know. No, it can't. It can't rescue itself. It's just, it's the wheel finally... I had to bloody commentate a curse it. It got to the 8 mile mark. But the wheel finally folded in under itself. Uh, <laughs> oh, the commentator's curse has been very strong today. I am impressed. I mean, to be fair, that, that one there was saying it might go 10 miles, but no, the wheel folded in. Folded under itself, and because it was so broken, it couldn't steer with the one remaining wheel. Uh, it has got still one good wheel. The engine is fine, but yeah, that wheel finally, finally gave way. It finally let go, and there we have it. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a great run. Really impressed with that, though. Really, really impressed with that. Um, mighty impressed, but that is the end of the hyperbolite. I might have to pull it out of the way because it is, uh, well, quite awkwardly placed. Great show. And we have a new leader uh, for today. It might be a new leader overall for this kind of streamed series, if you like. I think it got slightly further than the Rally Sunburst. So, yeah. There we go. Colin, thank you very much uh, for the super chat. Uh, saying bring back as a series. If I ever come across a map that works, it might make this might make its return as a like a fresh map. It might make a return as a series. As it is I'm kind of enjoying its streams. It is uh it is a good fun uh good fun sort of thing to stream, uh, if you like. Especially when, you know, this is, this map has been around in a long, long run this series on it. But streams are a little bit different. Um, a little bit different style, if you will. Um, and it works really, really well as a stream, Driven Till Destruction, I have to say. I'm pleased with it. Um, yeah, I, I would love for another map to work for it, but so far there has uh, has uh, has not Ooh. been one. Um, so there we go. Uh, Woolalers to people. Sylvia, thank you very much for the action. I say no fire truck, but could we see an ambulance run around here? We potentially could, yes. Uh, I think there's like a H series one or something. Uh, but yes, we can have a look. Um, Neotropolis, thank you very much for the donation. Saying loving, loving the Driven Till Destruction series. Can we get an electric chariot? Uh, not fussed which one. We can have a look for an electric chariot. Absolutely. Uh, JDK, thank you very much for the donation. Saying hi, Alex. Uh, love your vids. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, will the PI relay race make a comeback? Absolutely will in a motorsport game. If I can figure out a way to film it in Horizon, uh, that's the more difficult thing. Uh, trying to film stuff in Horizon isn't the easiest. Uh, that that style of race in Horizon is not the easiest, but um, it will. Absolutely, when there's a motorsport game comes around, there will 100% be uh, some more PI relay races because they were amazing fun. I really enjoyed doing them. But, uh, yeah, um, on on Horizon, it's a little bit more difficult to do, although definitely not impossible. I really enjoyed doing them. They're really good fun. And the tactical element was actually really interesting when, when we ran them. So, absolutely, we could well see uh, those make a return. The next car that we're going to tackle... Uh, going to tackle this circuit. I really don't know how this is going to fare at all. Uh, this is a very classic race car. <laughs> We're talking 1930s race car. Um, here it is. Oh, very loud. I'm going to turn that down a bit. Because that's going to be deafeningly loud. 
probably have some debris on the track. I don't think there was. I think most of it's actually got cleared out as we've gone around. There's a little bit of truck. Uh, sorry, a little bit of bolide there. Because most of the zeta, there, I think there's. Uh, there's all the zetas there. The wheels are there. I love how the wheels just managed to find themselves to the inside. Uh, is there anything else? I mean, we cleared off that. that we cleared a wheel out of the way. Oh, there's a door. There's a door from the ladder recovery service. <laughs> uh, right, you. Over there. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> and I think we are mostly clear. Right. Oh, noisy, noisy car. Fanta. And it's in the right colour, of course. I, I don't expect this to survive very long. That being said, you know, I would be incredibly happy if I was wrong. <laughs> I don't expect it to survive long, but we will give it a damn good try. Uh, Tank Maverick, thank you very much for the super chat, saying, Jimmy the One-Eyed Cat has your approval, Alex. Uh, he's been glued to the screen for 20 minutes. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm always glad to hear Always glad to hear of that. Hear, hear of that. Glad the cats are enjoying the. Uh, uh, the oh, the, this, this feels very, very nicely. Enjoying the stream. Probably wanting to chase the cars on the uh, on the screens and all that. But uh, yeah, Apollo. Apollo. My dog's never been interested. I have had the cats be interested in stuff on the TV, especially when it's motorsport. Oh, that's very shaky. Um, but yeah, like the small, fast-moving objects. Funnily enough, did interest the cats. Oh. I have chewed off my exhaust. Um, so that feels bad. <laughs> oh no, it's it's kind of... F uh, it's not completely disconnected itself. I suspect it might have a problem going over shafted, but we will see! Oh. I'm not sure the rear axle is very happy with us currently. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, well, the windscreen's gone, and the spare wheel's gone. I, I guess we don't have to worry about the spinners anymore. <laughs> That's the least damage I've ever had from... I completely messed that up. I just miscalculated uh, the brakes on this, and it just went straight. Um, but it's fine, because we can just go under the spinners now. Oh, shafted. Here we go. Oh, it didn't feel great. Not gonna lie. Oh, it, it, there's so much flexing from everything. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna fail first because it looks like it's all going to fail all the time. But maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Is that how it works? Are we supposed to be doing this? Um... Is it supposed to wobble and twist and flex that much? Ugh, the radiator's gone. If it overheats, I'd be amazed because it honestly feels more like the axle was going to fall out. Um, it, it feels so sketchy over these jumps. I mean, it is still making it for the moment. Yeah, if it goes out from overheating, I'll be slightly disappointed. Uh, it does look like it's connected. Uh, it does look like the gearbox and drive shaft are not really a thing anymore. Uh, it's it's becoming a hot rod. The front left's very broken. I don't think this is making it to the point where. Oh, that's uh, that's gonna kill it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a speed bump death. I don't think it was gonna make it across these speed bumps anyway. We have completely bananaed the chassis. The front end is... All the front suspension's gone. <laughs> yeah. Funnily enough, it wasn't the overheating that was really going to kill it. I'm not surprised that the drive shaft gave up. I mean... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up. I mean, I noticed this as it was going along, but the engine and gearbox was a bit loose. That's not supposed to move that much. <laughs> no wonder that. No wonder it. No wonder it died a death right there. 
That is definitely not supposed to wibble and wobble. Look at that. That so far away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Front suspension completely given up. A broken drive shaft was always likely to be uh, the the way it goes. <laughs> D and Rob think they just like hopefully reverse commentator curse. I mean, it was funny. I will give you that. It was a great car. It's great entertainment. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was uh, yeah did not survive the jumps. Nineteen thirties race car is a bit poorly. It is a bit poorly. It does struggle around the jumps. That is uh, that is for sure. Um, right, we are going to have a go. Well, up next we're going to have a go with something that is supposed to survive the jumps. However, that doesn't really mean a damn thing. Uh, we are going to have a go with the, uh, the H-Series, the Off-Road H-Series. Uh, now... Theoretically, this will be very strong. Uh, I can't find the damn thing. I'm blind. Uh, yeah, theoretically, this will be a very strong vehicle. The thing is, it will probably suffer from similar things to... So here we go, the Vanster Off-Road. It'll, it'll likely suffer from similar problems to the Zeta. If it gets broken... It's going to still be going fast and still likely to flip. And these are, yeah, the real the real big concerns on this. Um, falling over and losing wheels, bending steering are, are the fears for us. We shall see. If it can go further than the Zeta, can it go further than the Hyper Bolide? There's a lot... Of, it's got heavy... Of course, it's got heavy-duty suspension, heavy-duty steering, but there is still a lot, a lot of weight crashing down on those front wheels. And while they're in pristine condition, that's fine, but when they're not, that's when... Yeah, we are likely to see lots of damage. It is the Roly Rumpo from uh, <laughs> from GTA. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a drifty Rumpo, if anything, uh, in this game. It's great fun. This is great fun to drive, for sure. Um, and, I mean, it should... Like, this is theoretically one of the ideal sort of vehicles for this. Provided... Well, provided a, it fits through the spinners, which it should do if it bigger vehicles through there. Got to be a little bit careful. Again, spinners are fine when it's in pristine condition. They will be a lot less fine when, or if steering gets broken, because it is a lot tighter tolerances. The other concern I've just noticed is this doesn't have locking diffs. So we can't lock the diffs up. Okay, we're at 65 miles an hour across the jump for the first time. About the right sort of speed for a good landing. Did we break anything? I don't think so on this first time of asking. Can't decide whether the suspension is compressing more than it used to. But it seems alright. Dover. Actually, no, we have broken. The front is a little bit bent. Nothing major. Uh, the front left is slightly cambered and towed in. It shafted is... Shafted is a, uh, a painful jump. Ah, oh, does does it have limited slip diff from standard? Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we won't if it loses a wheel, we won't have, we won't lose drive completely. Fair enough. Didn't realise that. Um, yeah, they're not locking, but they are limited. That'll be fine. That'll still work for us. Oh, uh, well, good thing. That wheel's not where that wheel's supposed to be. How is that wheel ended up there? Uh, we've immediately lost a wheel again. What is it with these off-road trucks? Off-road trucks are not the way to go around. That wasn't even a ridiculous jump. Bloody sports cars have hit that jump and survived without losing wheels. You've the the 1930s car didn't lose a wheel. I mean, it lost a drive shaft, but the wheel stayed on. <laughs> There's 
problems afoot immediately. Oh, God, now you handle very strange. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, the diff's a problem. The diff is a problem. Well, I, th I saw a little bit of damage on the front left wheel, but nothing major. You're going to flip doing all sorts of shenanigans there. Uh, <laughs> okay, can I... Can I make it through the spinners? This was not in the script at all. Uh, can you turn left? Well enough for this. Oh, <laughs> that's that's so close to not being good. <laughs> that is so close to not being good. We made it this time around. But if we get any more damage, we are not making the spinners. The wheel is finally free, but. Yeah, I am concerned about this jump now. Here we go, truck. Nope. It's broken exactly the same as the Zeta. <laughs> it's the same distance, I think. Actually, no, the Zeta go a lap further. It, uh... That This is not how any of this is supposed to work. <laughs> didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> the van's just gone. 2.8 miles is all it could manage before both the front wheels fell off of another vehicle. <laughs> I mean, if I take the wheels, if I take the wheels from the Zeta and put them on the van, I guess we'd be okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> There's four wheels. I mean, yeah, that's... We'll just add this one to the pile. You can go with the Zeta's wheels over there. I think they're... Are they the same wheels? Because they're... They, uh, are they the actual same wheels? I think they're the same tyres. No, they're not... Uh, no, they're not quite the same wheels. They're very similar. They aren't quite identical wheels. The uh, H series are slightly bigger, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I, mean, I presume they do share similar similarities in the suspension. Um, it is definitely entertaining. But yeah, they're just not strong enough. They're not strong enough for this course, that's for sure. There's just there's so much weight clattering down on them that uh, they do not survive the punishing proving ground circuit. And that is the end of the Vanster as well. So far, Shafted has only killed two vehicles, and they've both been off-roaders. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's that's what we like. That is what we like to see. Christ. Uh, what have we got going on next? A re oh, we're going for a hopper now. What could go wrong with this? Christian Sweet asked for a regular hardtop hopper. Let's see what a regular hot. I know, I know what's going to kill. Well, I say I know what's going to kill the hopper. We saw the Bruto uh, run first, which is based on a hopper, and that had steering failure. We are likely to. S That's what I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to go for what we're expecting to hear, see, experience some form of steering failure. Uh, so we're going to go for a regular, just a normal, an LXT6 manual. Hard top, well, as much of a hard top as you get with these. Um, I mean, if this manages to lose both its front wheels, it will be hilarious. I think it unlikely. Um, but yeah, this is just a kind of normal hopper. It's not got as crazy off-road suspension. It is all-wheel drive. I don't know if it's got limited slip diffs or anything like that. I'm expecting the steering to get buckled. We shall see. We shall see. Um, maybe don't over the engine immediately. That is foolish. Um, hello, old race car. Maybe not crash into the old race car as well. Uh, I guess fuel tank could go in this. Don't do it well. We've lost a wheel. Thankfully, it's only the spare. <laughs> Does that count? Does that count as one wheel lost? I mean, we've barely got 500 yards and the wheel has technically flung off. Not that it was an important one. Um, but yeah. We shall see. They're st still steaming that cover over there from its caravan adventures. Oh, no, don't go sideways there. That's a quick way to break a car. Uh, 
No, we haven't broken it, thankfully. Yeah, sideways across the checkerboard is a really, really quick way to destroy wheels and axles and everything. So we're going to try and avoid doing that. The Toblerones will bump and shake, but unlikely to do... Oh, I say that. Unlikely to do all that much? Rear right I'm a little concerned about. Uh, we'll see what Shafted does. <laughs> what do you reckon, chat? I uh, I don't. It's not going to kill on the first run, surely. But uh, are we going to see more wheels ping off? It's got to be steering damage, right? We're going about the right sort of speed for the kind of landing that I want from Shafted. It's a bounce. It landed a bit on the front right. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty pretty okay. Um, you're not wrong. It's worse to go sideways into the spinners. I, I, I would say sideways into the spinners is worse, sideways over the jump is second worst, and then sideways over the checkerboard is third worst. That, that's, that's probably fair. Dover is bad to go sideways over, but you're at least going a bit slower than the other locations. Uh, the checkerboard is very easy to rip wheels off. We have seen it done, especially in high-powered cars uh, or, or wrecked steering vehicles uh, that have had just wheels torn off going sideways through the checkerboard, and that will normally be an insta-kill at that point. Uh, the hopper is going to complete a lap without any significant damage. It still goes in a straight line, I think. Well, unless that jump broke something. Nope. We still we are still tracking straight. That is good news. We're going to go better than the Bruto, which is something, at least. Oh, we're fine. Over the speed bumps, even if we got a little bit squirrely on the landing. No more wheelies for you. Is the rear suspension a little poorly? It's sometimes difficult to tell if the rear suspension is slightly busted or whether it's like body damage that's deceiving and making it look like it's damaged. It would only be a slight bent body going on here. But, uh, yeah. Actually a pretty good showing for the hopper so far. Uh, ooh. I'll go for a bit of a wander over there. That's not too bad. Uh, the to we saw the Toblerone shook the car about for again. Like, the shaking from side to side isn't too bad for the vehicle. Uh, I don't think. Like that. That's not really going to do much to the car. It's on its side. We can node grabber it back onto its wheels. No real harm done. Still going in a straight line. This might have the strongest steering I've ever seen from a hopper and we're literally driving a bog standard one. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go. The problem is, is all the fancy off-roaders. That is the issue. All the fancy off-roaders. I mean, so this is about to go and overtake the two very heavy-duty off-roaders. The Zeta and the Vanster. We're about to almost literally jump past. Ooh! That's a big roll. It's a big roll, but the critical thing... No steering damage. I am impressed, Hopper. Like, I don't care about damage to the roof. The damage to the roof is fine. Any damage we do to that... Well, I mean, it's not fine. You'd rather not have damage, but I'd rather do damage to that because it's energy that's going into deforming a bit that's not too important compared to energy going into bending wheels or drive shafts. So <laughs> I'm fine with the vehicle going for a roll um, as long as it doesn't lose a wheel, which it didn't, thankfully, in all of that. Oh. That's the sort of crunch that could cause it trouble, but did not. It's definitely bouncy, this this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised that that roll didn't damage the steering. Every landing we are bouncing back up into the air, which is... I mean, it's a little bit of a concern in as far as... If we have a bad landing, it's likely to just ping itself back into more trouble. Can we bounce over the tabletop? We can! <laughs> well, it can be quite helpful there. This suspension this seemed to be kind of the ideal setup. Uh, it's tough enough to absorb the landings without being that really, really compliant off-road suspension that seems to have the wheels snap off. So far. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prefix that with the... Uh, so far, because I know that there's going to be something that's going to happen. 
we know it's going to lose Steerig at some point. Or say we know it's likely to lose Steerig at some point. Uh, come on. Maybe rear suspension at some point. That's still all good. Into the spin as we go for another run. Very little in the way of problems. Uh, <laughs> we can even run lower on the speed bumps through here. Car just doesn't care. The hopper does not care one bit. Right. We know we're going to bounce on the landing here. We might see another roll. Uh, it's going to uh, a little bit twisted on the approach. Nothing too bad. Are we going to roll over? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's that bounce. It's the bounce into the into the banking that was a concern that it could bend a wheel. Somehow that hit the banking and it didn't even bend the wheel. This is the strongest hopper in existence. And I say that knowing full well what the curse of the commentator has been like today, but this has been a mighty, mighty performance from the truck. I mean, I'm trying, I, mean, I am trying to make sure, well, I'm trying to make sure, like, I'm trying to make sure when I get air time, I'm straightening the steering up so it doesn't land with the wheels twisted, because that doesn't help with bending of the steering, but I do that with everything, pretty much, because I know it's a real problem for cars. Try not to be, try not to be landing with the, steer, with the wheels on full lock, because, you know, a lot easier to snap them when they're like that. Oh. Oh. It's going to have a spin. That's fine. We can get away. Like a spin, not the biggest problem in the world. We can recover from that one. Could this... Oh, that's a nasty landing. But it's a nasty landing, but it didn't actually do all that much. We were still fine across the speed bumps. It's still not really... It's not... Again, a clonk and a bounce up, and we are good to go. <laughs> it's somehow not broken the steering. It does look like the front suspension might be damaged. Doesn't look like it's got much give in it anymore. I mean, it's not the, yeah, it's the biggest problem. Mm, although it might start becoming one. Uh, that Yeah, we could start seeing... The front end. Oh. We're going to go for another roll. Uh, again, fairly fairly minor one. Uh, yeah, if the front end is damaged, we could see that starting to dig in on like the speed bumps. Oh, misjudged my spinner. Thankfully, it was just the, the slightest glancing blow. Okay. Shafted. Do your worst. We know that this is the big scary jump for this car. We know that this is the one that is going to do the damage. Well, I suspect it'll be the one that'll do the damage. Here we go, Hopper. Oh, it has done the damage. I think. Might not be. I don't think it's totaled. However, <laughs> oh, there's, there is some heavy damage in the front right. The front right has no longer got suspension anymore. The front right is not really touching the ground. I mean, it's still a perfectly functioning wheel, which does surprise me here. Uh, <laughs> how has that... It's collapsed the suspension and not actually broken the steering rack. That's very unlike the hopper. Unfortunately now, it, I suspect it's going to land. These jumps are no longer going to be taken nicely. The nice landings for the jumps are over. It's going to be heavy impact, potentially on the one good side of the car. Uh, which isn't ideal, because it's more likely to now bend that side or compress that side suspension up until it gives up. We have now got some steering issues creeping in to the vehicle, funnily enough. Who would have thought wreck suspension would give you some handling grief? It does no longer go in a straight line, which is a shame. I was enjoying the fact that I had a hopper that was still steering, but we're up to six and a half miles. Uh, we've got a while to go to beat the bolide. However, I mean, oh, don't do that, Hopper. Oh, no, <laughs> it got treed. Ah, the oil pan is gone. And that, that is a symptom, well, I'll say there's a symptom because of that suspension damage as it was landing those jumps. It just has no control anymore because the suspension's kaput. 
Uh, I do fear what these might do to it. Uh, they're not too bad. Now this engine is likely to be quite... This engine is likely to be stronger than the high performance ones. If it, you know, without oil, it's still going to run for a while, I think. Not forever, not the diesel, not the truck engines, but still. Um, the handling's got way worse, and actually it is now starting to get a bit difficult to turn. What is going on with that wheel? I'm trying to... Uh, it'll still turn. I think it's lost part of the suspension. I think it's, again... One of the arms, or a control arm of some sort, I think is gone, because it's kind of shaking and wobbling quite loose. We pull quite very badly, actually, to the left now. Come on, Hopper. Make it up the jump. Oh, that's a big hit on the ground. It's still okay. How are you okay with this? <laughs> well, this Again, this is another super resilient car. I am impressed with the vehicle's performance. I'm less impressed with OBS that is currently having now it's internet issues rather than bloody frame rate uh, things going on. Uh, oh. Come on Hopper, you can keep going. Could you make it uh, how far could you make it around here? The oil has got problems going on. I know the engine's starved of oil. I cannot fix that at the moment. we just got to kind of keep going. Try and make as much ground as possible and see what happens. I don't know. The distance counter is going to be wonky either for this. Actually, the distance counter might be wonky for the bolide because the bolide was powered by rockets for a while. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is the hopper... Uh, oh, has the hopper overtaken the bolide? I don't know if it was on the right lap. To overtake the bow I know either way it's, it's got a long way has this hopper uh, even if it is now incredibly poorly it is bouncing around on this wrecked suspension steering is absolutely desperate to steer uh, to the right just wants to drag the car right so the steering rack has started to be twisted I think it's not the worst of no, by no means the worst I've seen in a hopper. But you can see that front wheel. The wheel that's good, uh, if I let go of the steering, it certainly doesn't return to centre. It does have enough steering to turn to the left, but... Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, hopper. You can make it. At least make it to shafted one more time, or you could fall over there. That also works, I guess. Back onto your wheels. The engine is definitely poorly. One more big hit. Well, whoa. Yeah, steering isn't great. We survive another brush. It was a bigger brush from the spinners, not going to lie, this time around. That was a, a considerably bigger knock from them. But <laughs> it's still going. That's... That's mostly visual damage there. The engine's... On its last legs here, because I can barely... I can barely keep the car in a straight line. I can barely get it going. Oh! That's a really bad hit, actually. <laughs> Even if the engine wasn't about to conk out, has that knackered my steering? We are rear-wheel drive. Amazingly, that didn't kill the steering. It's still going. I mean, that was a horrific hit. That was an absolutely horrific hit on the front end of the truck, and I don't know how it's still going. But it is barely alive, but it's still moving. Come on. Come on, Hopper. Can you make it over Dover? I think Dover will kill it. I have a feeling. I mean, it's barely... Well, it's not really going to hit the crawler rule, but we'll try. Uh, the engine's going to expire any second now. Come on, make it over Dover. You can do it. S surprisingly, it did. Oh, get out of the mud. It is. Oh, if we get to the checkerboard, it'll get second place. It's not going to make it to the checkerboard. The engine is going to die. The chassis is almost completely banana at the front from that one impact. Come on, Hopper. You can maybe... Maybe do something. And... I mean, it's it's got some life. Barely. The engine will expire at this point. 
one of these hills is going to be the death of it, I suspect. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's t it's, it might actually die on the ramp trying to take the jump, if it could even get there. Nope. No, it's dead. It's dying. It's limping. It's locked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great performance from the hopper. Hell, it had functioning steering at the end. It had functioning steering at the end. That is impressive. Ah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it is gone. It is gone. But we have a new leader for today. It's impressive. It's impressive from the hopper. I'm actually astonished at how far that, that went without having steering failure on it. Uh, even if we ignore the engine damage, that front end damage was going to kill it relatively quick at that stage. But uh, yeah, that is that is good going. That is good going. Uh, A-Rod, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, what kind of vegetable might help when you lose a tyre? A, 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 a spare, I guess. I'm going to give you a very big boo from me and from chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you ahead of time uh, for the boos. Can we attach a camper to whichever vehicle goes next? We have had a camper van go today. Um, a, a little cover actually did, a, or a caravan, I should say, actually... Uh, it went surprisingly well um, on that one. We might give, have one a go with the, ca with the caravan as well, uh, depending on what we have coming up. Uh, Drake, thank you for the donation, saying, uh, here's a joke for you, Alex. What's the difference between an idiot and a plank? I don't know either, as Lado is cursing loudly about the pair that uh, ran him off the track. Uh, that is going to be uh, probably a boo to you. Let's, uh, let's, let's say that. Uh, P.S. Is there a car like a pink pre that we can do on this track? Uh, I mean, we can run a pink car. I can't think of anything that's like a pink pre, though. Um, but if we can get around to everybody's, we can have a go with something. I guess we'll find something along those lines uh, somewhere that might might vaguely work. Uh, up next, we have got uh, the custom variant of the blue buck. Okay. Let's see what... That, I love how I type in blue looking for the blue buck and it's just brought up all the blue cars that I have. That's not quite what I meant, game, but sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, what is the custom variant of this? Here it is, customised street-tuned version. I mean, I like the colour. Already excellent choice. Um... So it's going to be a high-powered, relatively high-powered muscle car. Theory could be quite good. Main concerns a drive shaft. Uh, that's 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 the main. The, I say the main, big concern, predominant concern, is that we're just going to lose a drive shaft. So there we go. If anything other than oh. If anything other than a drush shaft kills this, I'd be really surprised. Not to say it can't happen, but... Yeah, I guess oil pan might go... If oil pan goes early, that might beat the drive shaft to killing it. But we will see. Considering the front left suspension's collapsed already... Not going to hold out crazy amount of hope for the blue buck. <laughs> The the problem with the suspension collapse is not the handling as much as the chance of me whacking the drive shaft or oil pan on a speed bump. Or, oh, this. Oh, don't go sideways over there. Oh, blue buck is quite strong. I don't think we'd snap a wheel off over the... Well, we, we could. I don't think we would, but it's definitely possible. Um, the lap four is ambitious, considering we've already taken what looks like significant suspension damage. It might not be as bad as it looks, um, but that does not look right in the front left corner. And a blue buck, relatively long car. I mean, a little fit through here. I think the front end might be low enough that if it, it, would, it would destroy the cab of the, well, it's sort of the roof and all that. It might still be drivable if I hit the spinners. I'm not gonna try though. Uh, we've definitely got enough speed in this to get the rough... We want about the 60 mile an hour mark. Oh, the oil pan got damaged on takeoff. Cool. That's a good sign. 
That, and that's the damage suspension for you. And that's the problem we get. The damage suspension can clatter. Or, uh, because, yeah, the front end is just running lower to the ground. Anything is more likely to puncture that oil pan. And sure enough, it was, it was a ramp that killed it. Oh, come on. Please make the corner. Uh, yeah. Well, we can go as far as the car will will go. We will try our best to uh, make it live. If it isn't going to be a death by a drive shaft, hopefully it will be an interesting death. Well, that's the hope. At the moment, it's having problems, as is OBS. I don't know what's going on with OBS now. We, we fixed the game having problems, and now it's the internet bit that's having problems. That's bad! Okay, banana. The banana bodywork a little bit. Oh, steering's a bit knackered. But uh, it's livable. Uh, we've got camber front left. We have... Oh, yeah, we have camber front left. The suspension doesn't look very healthy. Engine starved of oil. I am aware. Can't fix that now. Uh, we are going to hope... Oh, God, that... The engine is strong and it will last a while without oil. Some of these V8s aren't too bad. I mean, it's not going to be great, but... Yeah, we'll do what we... We'll do, we'll do what we can. So I was just looking at OBS for a second, trying to figure out what it's doing. Uh, I'm going to play around with some settings in a second. Uh, after this run has, uh, has happened and see if I can figure out what's going on. Just a bad day for technology really uh, through the spinners we go uh, can put the power down I mean, outside of a bit of bent bodywork it isn't as banana as it could be which is saying something uh, we've still got plenty of speed for the jump uh, don't twist oh that's a big hit well, we're going to go further than two off-road trucks which is quite fun in the muscle car uh, there's a little, a little bit of banana ring on the chassis, and that's so the, the damage that that will do is will snap the drive shaft. You, you hit it enough, you bend it enough, the drive shaft will snap. Uh, the blue buck is tough. We've seen it before. Blue buck is one of the tougher muscle cars. However, it's still front engine, rear wheel drive, and a very long drive shaft, so the worst possible combination for drive shaft breakages. Uh, I think the car is starting... The engine is starting to feel a little bit worse for wear. I'm trying to get away with keeping it in second in the hope of keeping the engine alive for as long as possible. So I have the power and torque to kind of accelerate away and I'm not revving it quite as hard. Oh, the rod bearings are damaged. Oh, crap. That's a bad jump. Although the car's dealt with it surprisingly well. That was a huge jump. Terrible landing for the car. It's, it's a kind of a shame the oil pan is as fragile as it is because this car has taken a hell of a beating and it's not really cared about it. But the oil pan will see to it that the engine expires at some point. We've still got a decent chunk of power. It's helpful. It is, it is, considering how long the oil pan's been gone, is doing good. I know we're going to commentator curse it, saying that, but... No, he can't get commentator cursed every time tonight, right? <laughs> We've got to break it at some point. Uh, first gear, heading towards the spinners. The steering, pretty spot on. He's a little bit twisted. Actually, no. Nope, that is... About right. Uh, I think something clipped on the speed bumps over there, but again, not too bad. Right, engine. Concern I'd have is we're going to take a it's going to take a big impact here. That big impact could kill the engine. Oh, well, we've got the radiator now leaking. But uh, <laughs> you no, know, funnily enough, radiator not as bigger a concern because uh, well. Radiator leaking means we're going to overheat. Well, we're going to overheat anyway. Like, we've already got oil problems, so radiator doesn't really make that any worse. I 
think the front has got worse. I think the front has got pushed down more. The suspension's more collapsed. But this whole second gear trick is kind of working. It's keeping the thing going. It's not lost... I mean, it has lost power. But it's still more than fast enough to be uh, carrying on. The blue buck is another car that will refuse to give up. We've had quite a few of them tonight that are being stubborn, which we always like to see in Driven Till Destruction. We always like to see cars that just refuse to give up. I was waiting for the drive shaft to snap while saying that, however, it did not. <laughs> uh, okay, over the tabletops we head. I mean, it's, it's sending a whole lot of force through the car here, but it's surprisingly holding together. No real steering damage to speak of. No real major concerns to speak of in this car. If it wasn't for the engine explosion about, well, melting about to happen, there wouldn't be oh, much problem. <laughs> it should let that, that really just let go without any warning. It was none. No warning at all. That has just let go. <laughs> Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. The blue buck has let go, and I mean, it was an impressive run. I was expecting a little bit more warning from the car. It was starting to have issues with the front wheel. That front left there is very, very broken and was barely above the ground. So I don't know, maybe if that hit something on the floor that jolted the engine and installed it. We have seen that when the engines are close to dying. But, uh, yeah. The end of the blue bike, but another impressive run. We've had some mighty impressive cars. We've had some mighty impressive cars today that just did not want to, to give up around here. Um, so, yeah. That is... That is that is a good a good going vehicle. Our next vehicle is going to be something very different. Uh, we are going for the Astro, which is a Mark One Golf. Uh, we are going for the one point eight liter Country One, <laughs> which should be fun. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it was pretty strong last time, but I don't know. What was that? 1.8 litre country. Here we go. So, I mean, in theory, this should be even stronger than the police spec one. But theory, off-road vehicles have done terribly. <laughs> so... Uh, we shall see. We shall see what might, might possibly transpire here. What do you reckon, folks? Oh, we do have locking diffs. That's helpful. Uh, <laughs> I'll definitely lock the rear diffs up. Um, could be quite good. Cool, I was going to try and fix... Uh, I was going to try and fix OBS. We'll see if we can... Uh, do something about OBS having having problems. Uh, Luke, thank you very much for the uh, for the super chat saying love your channel. I'd love to join you for a survival hunt in GTA Five one day. Keep up the great work. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Always glad to hear uh, folks enjoying the videos, enjoying the streams. I hope you're enjoying some Beam uh, today. Uh, currently, we don't have any sort of open sessions and stuff with uh, with Survive the Hunt and uh, whatnot. But you're always welcome to come and join for GTA Five streams on Sundays, uh, where we do some racing and some sumo and all sorts of silly things along the way. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name at all. I I dis can I I'm not going to even be able to attempt that one properly. But thank you very much for the for the super chat. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, love your vid. I'm having a terrible day, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We've started getting Beam working, which is good. Well, OBS working and Beam working. It's going better. Things have improved from the start of the stream, that is for sure. Uh, Geeka Bob. Thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Saying an Englishman, an Irishman, a Scotsman, and a Welshman walk into the bar. Uh, the bartender says, is this some kind of joke? 
that is going to be a boo to you. From me, and probably from chat as well. You're definitely going to get a boo uh, on that one. <laughs> oh, let's see what our little Astro here can do. Uh, small cars, done quite well in this stream. Off-road cars have done terribly, so... <laughs> Who knows? Either either this is going to be indestructible or garbage. Who knows? It's four-wheel drive, though, which should help it. It's managed to dent its own roof with the spare wheel. I am impressed by that. The boot latch, not very strong. Um, the boot latch, really not very strong at all on the car. But if that's the only thing that fails on this first lap, I would be relatively impressed with it. Uh, after this run, we might have to do a bit of a clear up on the vehicles because the frame rate is starting to get a little bit poorly. Um, it does happen after a while. You start adding more and more cars and lots of debris around the place to a map. It's going to occur. Oh, so one of the concerns. Oh, uh, you know what? Sure, we'll drive around with the boot fully open. What could go wrong with that as we head into the Spinners of Doom that could uh, grab it? They don't. My, okay, my, my big concern with off-road suspension, we've seen with the Zeta, we saw with the, the Vanster, it's great when it's working, but the second it gets slightly damaged, cause really, really big problems, and we may well see more of that uh, around here. We've got good speed. Oh, don't land on the front. Oh, that's fine. It's, oh. It has absolutely smashed the front end up in a very funny way. <laughs> Uh, not that I can really look at it while driving. When we come, I say when we come to a stop, or if we if it spins or something, it has. It's pushed the whole front end up in an amusing way, but not really damaged the mechanics of the car. Now there is a bit of debris, so I'm allowed to stop and pull debris free with a node grabber. The problem is that debris is stuck in the tire. If I go and pull that debris out, there's a chance I just rip the tire off. So if it doesn't stop me from moving. I'm got, I'm, I've got to. I'm going to leave it. And there we go. It works itself. It's worked itself free. Oh, at the end of all that. A uh, little bit wobbly there on the old controlling. Steering doesn't feel great. I can't see any specific reason as to why. And that won't have helped. So another car want to do a backflip over the finish line. <laughs> I mean, it has affected the handling a bit. Yeah, it has affected the handling, as you can see by the front left wheel suddenly being very wobbly. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of the damage... The, the rear looks like it's really buckled, but I think that's mostly bodywork damage. I think that looks worse than it actually is. Like, mechanically speaking, I don't think it's done much damage to the back of the car. I think it's just pushed the bodywork around and makes it look like everything's all lopsided. There is some steering problem, though. Yeah, you can see the front right wheel definitely pulls. The front left wheel wobbles and doesn't really function. Well, it does function, but it's definitely not completely fixed. Oh, okay. I'm going to go for a f random flop. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Random flop, no problem at all. Steering, that is still still there. Okay, we should be f with the spinners. Shouldn't be too bad. I think this could struggle to beat the police spec. I think the um, no, the police car had the same engine. I think the the suspension and whatnot allowed it to take those jumps, well, took those jumps differently, so it's been flying through the air in different ways. You're going to land quite heavily on the nose. Eh, it could have been worse. I'll take that. We've completely bent the roof. So the, the, the spare wheel has managed to make a curious channel down the roof. <laughs> That's not how that's supposed to work at all. But, you know... What what uh, what can you do? Again, the roof damage, least of our concerns. I don't even quite know how the boot still connected or works, uh, but it does apparently. Um, so there is that. Finland ball. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, 
So I don't know if you have the AE86 mod, uh, but I'd love to see the initial D-Spec one uh, run on the course today or uh, sometime in the future. I do not have that mod installed, I am afraid. But uh, if I do get around to, if I do have time to get around to your request, I'll try. Uh, we're sure we can find something with uh, some interesting specs Japanese sports car. Uh, we are going to... Oh, it really doesn't like that jump. It really doesn't like that jump. That is doing some some bad stuff there. Uh, the other side, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, also, I did see a Woolala. Sorry, with the way I have the windows for my computer, I can't quite see Streamlabs in the middle of a run, which is why I don't can't read donations immediately. But I did see another donation come in, so uh, or hear a donation. A Woolala, thank you very much. Uh, the Astro here is in all sorts of funny shapes. I mean, this is what this is this is what's driven to destruction is about. Um, cars somehow ending up like this and still working. This is already becoming one of my favourite cars we've had today. <laughs> look at it! There's not a panel that's in the condition it's supposed to be in. Steering's a bit balked, but it's running. Running surprisingly well, too. Well, I don't know how long it's going to remain running, because the steering's quite shaky. Um... Strangely, shafted is not the jump that concerns me with this car. Shafted has been surprisingly okay. It's the flying finish. I think that was what we called the uh, called the called the jump uh, that has done a lot of the damage. I mean, the tabletops also did a fair share on this one. Oh, steering! Don't let me down now. We are good. Uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah, the boot is the panel on this car that is in the best condition, weirdly. I mean, it lost it lost the window, but otherwise, the boot is working fairly well. It's surprisingly... Oh, surprisingly strong. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not... That's not great. It means we're rear-wheel drive. I guess technically I could lock up the... Oh. Okay, we're rear-wheel drive, and we have lost... So, have we lost... Front left wheel, does it still steer? No, okay, the front left wheel's knackered. Uh, so what I could do, I mean, I could lock up the front wheels. That might help the one good wheel carry on. Okay, it's mostly sorted itself out. Uh... <laughs> Might affect my handling. Well, it's not going to really affect my handling that much, considering the state of my car. Yeah, so the front left wheel's knackered, but I don't really mind that. We can still function. We still have enough steering. It's not really pulling against us too much. It is a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I think it might be steering that kills this car in the end, but for now it's still going. Or something silly is going to happen and weird is going to happen over that finish line jump. Also a distinct possibility. With the wheels as damaged as they are, I am concerned about the spinners. Spinners could be a real problem now. We do turn, but it's definitely not the proper amount of turning. What is it with that jump? I do <laughs> Oh... Come on, broken car. I mean, so, because it was a spin from a landing, I'm allowed to grab reverse and, and get it going from that. Although I think we might be in a lot more trouble than we were last lap around. I think we're in, in deep trouble. We do still have some steering. It's not completely gone, but uh, is definitely unhappy. It may well go out before the spinners with this level of damage on the steering. Uh, however, we are... Oh, yeah, we're really struggling. We're really... We gotta, I know where we're going to have a massive problem. We might be able to do it. But the hairpin, after the checkerboard, could see us done. If we aren't killed by the hairpin, we are 100% killed by the spinners. Every so often, the wheel just folds under... Okay, I might have figured out how to use the wheel. If I tap the brakes, it does actually bring that wheel. Oh, it makes that wheel face the right direction. Uh, or face, uh, yeah, it makes the wheel face the direction I want it to. 
This is such a weird way to drive a car now. I have to, if I want to turn right, I have to tap the brake. But it does mean if I tap the brake anyway, that wheel just automatically steers us right. It's not, it's not an ideal situation we find ourselves in. I'm not going to lie here, folks. Spinners. Do your worst. You probably will. Uh, so we're basically... None of the wheels are even round anymore. Alright, come on, car. <laughs> I can't believe that made it through there. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> because the tapping of the brake makes the wheel fold under, it can actually still turn. You know, I've done this series a lot. I've done this series a lot on different tracks, different cars. I've had different failures. This car has given me a first. I've never had a vehicle like that. <laughs> I've never had a vehicle that I'm able to steer only because when I tap the brakes, it folds the wheel the right way. I mean, this this will eventually fail doing that. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a time when that doesn't work. I don't quite know at what point, but <laughs> it's still going. Oh, we've got like bloody skid skier, skid steering on this, uh, kind of. Oh, come on there, come on, fold the wheel under. There we go. It works. Always oh, like what is it? Is a Formula One car with the extra brake pedal is a McLaren wasn't it that had the sneaky brake pedal that like braked one side of the car kind of like that not well not really but you know that's not gonna do us some good uh, <laughs> it has amazingly overtaken the police spec come on come on little Astro you can do it you can do it I don't quite know I don't think I don't think you're gonna take a victory because at some point the steering is going to completely give up the ghost however you have done surprisingly well. If anything, the steering's got slightly better at the end of this lap. Well, that's probably not going to help matters. Oh, the spare wheels come off! No, it lived on there for so long. Now the spare wheel has fallen off. Has that roll made my steering problems worse? Nope. We're fine. I mean, we're not fine fine. It has finally bent the boot. <laughs> I think all the wheels, basically, are now flapping. Well, mostly uncontrollably. Spinners, you might claim your first victim of the day. Because this has got more erratic now. Considerably more erratic, to say the least. Uh, don't know if my brake technique is going to continue to work forever. Could we... Could, well, will these do damage? I think we've still got enough ground clearance that the checkerboard isn't breaking it, which is surprising. Yeah, tapping the brake is functioning for the moment. I'm amazed that like, the radiator hasn't got poorly in all of this. Uh, oh, come on now. Fly, bounce, clatter your way over there. There we go. <laughs> It has absolutely worked. Oh, careful. Car. Oh! Okay, we survived. We got hit by the spinner. The steering suddenly decided to work a lot better than I expected. Oh, the front left tyre's gone down. Really? Funnily enough, that's not my biggest concern. The fact that the tyre's punctured. No, no. I mean, yeah, we, it, we hit the, it took the hit from the spinner surprisingly well. All the boots nearly come off. That's gonna say goodbye shortly. But this might actually be almost broken enough that it doesn't have to worry about the spinner. It might be low enough that it can just go under the spinner. Although I'm not gonna test it because if we, if we don't, it'll be goodbye Astro. Uh, it will be 100% dead then. I mean, we're still able to carry quite a lot of speed up to Dover. We are still able to land Dover fairly nicely. I think we beat... Do we beat the Bolide? Potentially we do. Uh, I know distance-wise we don't, but we know the distance counter isn't always great. I haven't been keeping track of 
lapse, mostly because I'm trying to somehow keep this thing pointing in the right direction. We're still more than capable of going at 40. I mean, we're not that much worse off than the... Uh, God, that it was at the start in some ways in regard to speed. We are, of course, but it's still able to shift around here. Oh, still hates that jump. Back it into a wall. I do think this is potentially got to the point where it's kind of broken itself to a level that it can't go super fast, so it's not really taking that much more damage. I mean, the, the spinners is still a really big concern because if the wheel fails at the wrong point, you saw it just catapulted me into the spinner because it just decided to snap under in time at uh, the wrong moment. If it does that again, we could have problems. We definitely do have all sorts of handling issues. We have suspension issues. We have many of them going on. Come on. Come on, little Astro. You are a seriously sturdy car. Will the checkerboard want to tear a wheel off? I actually would like it to tear that front left wheel off. If it could, that would be great. That would save me a lot of problems. I would ra Actually, no, it wouldn't because it's a front-wheel drive car. Actually, no, no, it's not. It's an all-wheel drive car. Of course, it's the country spec. It is all-wheel drive. Oh, I don't steer to the left great either at this point, but never mind. Could we get the first car to reach 10 miles today? Actually, why did I say that when heading towards the spinner? I know what the curse of the commentator is like. Uh, right, so if I steer, grab the brake. We are there, fine. <laughs> this engine is so strong in this car. Everything is so strong in this car that it is clinging on to life. I mean, we're still hitting the jump at like 50, 60 mile an hour up here. There's still a decent amount of speed going on in the car. It's lost about 10 mile an hour upshafted. But still, that's faster than some cars ever hit it. So <laughs> it's, it's going remarkably well. Although that didn't sound good. I, I think we're starting to really lose any sort of ground clearance. And I've said this every lap but we are starting to have significant more significant concerns <laughs> every lap <laughs> how is it how is it clinging on to life this car it's ridiculous we're at 8.9 miles the car that I really did not think would do it especially not after quite early damage the car that's had one wheel actively fighting against us, a car that I've had to be using a brake to get a wheel to fold under, is somehow still circulating. And it's heading on to another lap, potentially, because we know the flying finish jump here has been mean to the car. No, not so bad this time around. It's on to another lap. Come on, make that turn. It does. We are across the speed bumps. That's a big hit on the speed bumps. Did that bend anything significant? No, not more than was already bent. Uh, <laughs> 9.4 miles. I don't want to say too much. But it's looking promising. We've got to get... Well, that might have to get us out the other side of the spinners. Come on, get through the water. The water's not a problem. The water can cool it, not that it's too warm. Checkerboard, don't pull any important bits off the car. It does not. I mean, it chucks it around, but we can just grab the brake and still make this hairpin. The little golf is continuing onwards. 9.7 miles. It's got. It's got to get out. It's got to get out the other side of the spinners to make the 10 mile mark. It is probably the biggest challenge for this car in its current state because if the wheel folds in an awkward way at the wrong time, it could just spit me into a spinner. But it has done it again! <laughs> it's through! It is through! And it is going to celebrate getting to 10 miles by hopefully getting up to sort of 50 or so miles an hour. And there we go. 
It is 10 miles for the Astro Country. Through the air we go. Smack the floor. Actually, a very nice landing. That is uh, about the landing that we wanted, to be honest. Uh, oh, can it? So the Beast is the, is the leader uh, overall. I mean, if this can beat the Beast, that is saying something. Um, I would not have... I mean, I knew it was strong. We know the police spec was strong. But I would not have thought it, this was going to be this strong. It's still... still got enough life. It's still got enough steering. Come on. Come on, car. Well, uh, that's going to be a big hit on the nose, but it's a big hit on the nose, but it's not really been able to do too much. The bull bars are actually still attached as well, I think, on the front, which is incredible. Uh, <laughs> don't quite know how they have uh, ended up still attached to the car, but they are. Right. Fly! Oh, it's dead! It is no more! <laughs> it's Actually, no, it might be one-wheel drive. It might still be able to drive, because I forgot it's got locked diffs. Can it still clear the crawler rule as a one-wheel drive car? I take it back. No, it can. One wheel. It's still going. It's still going. It's got one-wheel drive. <laughs> it's still able to clear 30. Um, it is still able to clear 30 miles an hour as a one-wheel drive car. That's amazing. I mean, it's going to have even more handling problems. Oh, it really has handling problems now. Uh, <laughs> but never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, can we get through the water? It might struggle on, like, hills and stuff. But... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's, it's not easy to get this to go anymore, but it will... Once it can put the power down, once it stops having... Handling issues. Oh god, it doesn't like that corner, but I have to go on the brakes to try and start turning it. The back wheel doesn't really touch. I can't really turn and put power down uh, to the left anymore. We can we can put power down and turn. Sorry, we can put power down and turn left. I can't put power down and turn right, which is a concern. But sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, right. Astro, do not let us down now. Into the spin as you go. Oh, it's fine. It's made it. It's out the other side. We're at 11.3 miles on a single wheel that works now. I mean, we have basically got... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make a... Well, kind of making a corner. Uh, <laughs> we can damage pretty much any part of the car bar that wheel. Like, at this stage, it doesn't matter what else gets hit as long as that wheel doesn't. We're fine. The rear wheels don't matter anymore. The front left doesn't matter. This is... This is remar We are watching history here. Uh, as far as driven till destruction nonsense goes, this is one of the most resilient cars I've ever seen tackle this. Uh, we had vehicles that we thought would be nigh on indestructible. We had vehicles that I thought would run for hours around this course. Not hours, but run for a seriously long time. And it wasn't them. Oh no. A Golf, an all-wheel drive Golf, <laughs> is the one of the strongest cars we've ever seen in this series. It just doesn't give up. And I mean, it's still able to go decent speed. It's not even completely useless at this pace. And the jump that's done the most damage, the finish line jump here, doesn't really damage the front wheel of the car, so... I say that. Maybe don't say that as we approach it. Oh, We had handling problems on landing. But never mind. Uh, <laughs> we have handling problems everywhere. Let's be honest. Uh, oh, the front... Oh, the bull bars are nearly coming off. Oh, we do have... Don't get stuck on there. 
I think something has got worse, funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> it is a full lap as a one-wheel drive car now. Something has definitely got worse. I don't know whether it's bent... I think what's happened is it's bent the front left corner down more, so the driving... The wheel that steers and actually drives is not touching the ground as much. Uh, we might have problems. Uh, now... Come on, pull yourself out. Every time I think, oh, this is going to give us, this is going to be the thing that kills us, just it just doesn't give up. It finds a way to continue moving onwards. Uh, come on, find some drive, make it up the hill. I don't want you to go out from essentially traction issues. Oh, I mean, if this for some reason pops a radiator. I think the engine's going to blow up real quick because we are having to work it incredibly hard. It could run out of fuel. If it does, that would be amazing because, you know, it's got a pretty... Uh, it's still got, like, four-fifths of a tank. If you if it cannot start accelerating at some point, it will get... No, there we go. So it has got to start moving. It's not allowed to just crawl around indefinitely, but it's... It's definitely got worse at putting the power down. It is getting worse. This car. Oh. Come on, spinner time. <laughs> Can we continue to make it through? We do. Once again, clear the spinners. Now, we do need to get some speed up for the jump, because this will, we've seen the drive it struggled climbing up that uh, out of the shallow grave. If we get stopped before the jump, we will have problems. I don't think we'll be able to climb the hill in front of the jump. But we are up to 13 miles now with the Astro. Can we make another lap with the car? I have no idea. We're going to give it a damn good try. It's now down to 40 miles an hour over the jump. That's a sickening crunch on the front end. Well, the bull bars have been pushed up rather than away. Which is something, I guess. <laughs> still, the bumper is attached. The rear bumper is technically still attached as well. We lost the... No, is that the boot? I think the boot might have folded into itself somewhere along the lines. Who knows? Uh... <laughs> But this has lasted longer as a one-wheel drive car with barely any steering than some cars have lasted full stop. Which is remarkable as well. And I love that the damage indicator, literally everything is red. <laughs> There's a lot of red going on. Uh, which is never a good thing, really. But I have no idea how this car is still going. It just refuses to die. Could it do 15 miles? I mean, that would be absurd. That would be absolutely absurd. Uh, but at the moment, it's just like, what? what is going to kill it? I mean, one of these jumps might finally snap the good wheel. Uh, this jump here is the one that I'm most concerned about. Doing something like that. Yeah, the big concern is if it snaps the... Oh, the, the one good wheel doesn't look very good, does it? That looks very wobbly. I don't know if it's always been that wobbly. I think that wheel has lost some form of suspension arm. <laughs> but it continues on. It doesn't care. It can have lost all its suspension and it just doesn't want to give up. Uh, what is going on with the front wheel, actually? <laughs> What is going on? Why has it gone so far back all of a sudden? That's not where you're supposed to be, wheel. Well, we've done more damage to the front left. Not that that's... Oh. Well, the exhaust has come off. Ah, okay. The ah, Right, we have a problem. I want to try and pull the exhaust free because that's actually beached us. Right, that's gone. Well, now we've become a noisy car. But that does show that uh, the car has got lower. Oh. I mean, you can see there's so much. In fact, the front left is stopped spinning properly. 
Uh, that's that. There's concerning times. The front left wheel. I don't know what we hit it on. What did the damage? Okay, we've got it going. We've got it clear of the checkerboard here. Uh, we are yeah. We're now a straight straight piped golf, but. <laughs> The radiator could now be vulnerable, um, more vulnerable if the car's that low. I mean, it's, it's, it's whatever, whatever, oh, that's not the place I expected to roll. It said the engine's off. The engine's clearly not off. Uh, right. <laughs> what is going on with this car? What is going on with the suspension? I don't know. It still lives. If anything, that roll seems to have made my steering a bit better, funnily enough. Although it hops about randomly now. I don't know what it's hopping about on. I think when the wheel, like, hooks up or hooks under, something strange happens occasionally to this car. I don't I don't have the steering to avoid the speed bumps anymore. Um, the <laughs> right. One wheel drive machine. It has got better as it's got broken. From that roll has actually seemed to help us a little bit with getting the power down and making the drivability better. Ooh. That crunching can't be good. That crunching can't be good. Not that it cares. The seats are currently all oh, the radiator's finally gone! All this time the radiator has finally gone. Bigger concern is I'm currently not getting any drive. No, there we go. The drive's come back. And the drive is very dependent on the terrain, the hills, and what way I'm steering. But, uh, yeah. The, the radiator, radiator is popped. We will now overheat. The engine will expire if something else doesn't kill it first at the rate this car... In fact, knowing this car, it's going to go on for another 10 miles with no radiator. Uh... Drive is getting seriously bad. We've cleared the 15 mile mark though, which is something. The engine is going to hate us with the way I'm having to drive it. Uh, come on, car. Come on, car. Keep going. Just, I, I mean, I apologize to the wonderful people who have donated and whose cars I probably won't get time to run tonight because this thing just won't die. <laughs> This thing has just been astonishing. It is now starting to really hurt. Oh, no, Polo, what? Get away from that. Right. What do we reckon these are going to do to the car? Not actually all that much, surprisingly. That's another crunch, but it's not... I don't know how that front... How on earth the front right corner... Is holding on in this. I don't understand how the front right corner is somehow still alive, but it is. Uh, we plowed it into the water. The car didn't really like it, but it's fine. Doesn't like the climb. In fact, the, the water has cooled the engine down. Oh, come on, find some traction. There we go. Yeah, it's not very good climbing up that hill. That hill is one of the weakest points. Um, <laughs> oh. We're still able to make the turn. Can we survive the spinners again? Last lap around, it was the Toblerones that did some damage. The, the spinners haven't actually been too bad. Toblerones, we are clear of. We pinged a bit of car away. Okay. Astro. Can we make it through here again? Yep. The brake steering is still working. After all this time, after all the sort of subsequent damage, the brake steering is still holding it together. We can ride the bumps through there. That's fine. 
I mean, we're up to like 40 miles an hour again down here. Temperature is going up. So it gets a little reprieve. It gets a brief reprieve. Oh, that's such a horrible landing. It gets a brief reprieve through the shallow grave, but it's never enough to keep it going. Front right has got considerably more camber than it had before, I think. Which is going to hurt us. Uh, can we get you turned, car? Oh, there's a lot of steam coming off of it now. Coolant is overheating. It's not great news for the Astro. It's in trouble. Can you make it to the start-finish line? Come on. Come on, car. I mean, if you could make it to Shallow Grave, you might get a little bit of a reprieve. I've actually just seen there's something hanging under the front as well that's all sorts of glitched and messed up. Uh, oh, the engine torque is reduced. I think that's going to kill it in a minute. <laughs> it doesn't want to give up. Come on, you can make it to start finish line car. It just needs to get that little bit further. Make it to the start finish line. Get, I mean, 17 miles would be great. Don't think it will make it quite that far. I think the engine's going to pop before then. But you can do it, Astro. The oil's overheating. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, we have to kind of rev the nuts of it to get it any sort of moving. It's made another lap. It might make 17 miles. It does just. The head gasket's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Still technically not stopped. Oh, and it's gone. It wasn't overheating. The whole front axle fell off. <laughs> I thought I saw something hanging down. The <laughs> the <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. It wasn't even overheating that killed it. The front axle fell off over the speed bumps. It all fell off. The whole front subframe and everything. <laughs> the engines died anyway, but that technically wasn't what killed it. It amazingly wasn't overheating. I saw... I saw something hanging down. I think it was, like, that that was hanging down that I noticed. Uh, I couldn't look at because the car was basically dying. Um, but that is an entire front subframe has fallen off a car in a way that I never did think I would quite see. Um, the only time I've ever seen that before was the crash hard. It was a, like a classic car that had the whole front end actually came off. I've never seen... Look at that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Oh, amazing. That is by far and away the weirdest crash, the weirdest failure, the most amazing run we have ever seen. The Astro Country. I mean, I, I thought it might be all right. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. 17 miles for the Astro. I mean, barely any roof left. Ah. Oh. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. The front axle is gone. The car is no more. It is quite possibly one of the most impressive and ridiculous runs I've ever seen, we've ever seen, in any Driven Till Destruction. The only thing that I think comes close was the... Um... God, what was it called? One of the classic American cars on the Enduro Drome that had the rear axle loose and was wobbling from side to side. That was quite impressive. Um, but that, that, that died quickly. Um, this, this, this is just... That's so, so impressive from the Astro right there. It's always something new. That's what I love about this series. I love about the series is there's always something new that you didn't expect. And there's been a few of them today. This has been one of them. Uh, 
That was fantastic. Dice, thank you very much for the super chat. So the money I spent on requesting this has been the most has been the best frivolous spending of my lifetime. It was a great request. <laughs> it was an absolutely amazing request. No one expected that when we started it. I thought it was gonna be good. Did not think it was gonna do that. The Astro is an absolutely stunning achievement for vehicle nonsense right there. I genuinely can't think of anything that would be more... Yeah, that's going to do something. I say that, though. You never know. You absolutely never know with this stuff as to what is going to happen with it. So, <laughs> there we go. Bloody hell. Uh, Scott, also, thank you very much. I apologise, Scott, for a very generous donation that I, that was 36 minutes ago that was during this run that I've only just been able to see. Um, I say, glad to be able to catch another stream. Thanks for all the good content. Oh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the Astro's truly stunning run right there. Um, that was really quite something. <laughs> I still, I'm still a bit in shock about that car, to be honest. Uh, Aaronard, thank you very much for the nation saying, pouring one out for the bad Astro. <laughs> I like it. That is definitely going to be its name. From that run, from that run, um, I mean, that's that, that's got to be the best run we ever, we've ever seen. If we, even if we ignore the streams, I don't think anything has gone further than that, as far as I'm aware. I don't think anything has ever gone further than that. Um on any of the circuits, even. But, yeah, I, I genuinely don't think anything went further. I, I know... Was it the Roma? The Fire Chief Roma went quite a long way around here. The body fell off that one. Um, but, yeah, even even the video series, I don't think anything got as far as that. So, yeah, mighty. I don't know, the temperature's actually gone down as well. <laughs> it's just cooled a little bit. Um, I, yeah, Amazing. That is a truly, a truly stunning run. We do have time for one more vehicle. I don't know what is going to live up to that. Um, but there, oh, that was the spare wheel. <laughs> I forgot about the spare wheel. It was so long ago the spare wheel fell off that car. There is little, there's there's so so many little bits of debris. I'm never going to be able to clear them all. Um, uh, Roma was 12.6. Um, ah, there we go. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... I don't, know if that, I don't know if that rumor is the, far, the furthest overall ever. Um, I can't remember now from that series, but that's that's amazing. <laughs> oh, the Covert K car lived a while. I don't think it lived that long. I don't think it lived... Um... Okay, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been so long since I, since I did that uh, did that series. Uh, so I'm just going to check him back to see what... Uh, oh, we've got a Baja Picolina. Uh, will be the uh, potentially final vehicle. Now, we have had a go with one of the Baja Picolinas before, so we're going to have a go with a slightly different variant. Um, I mean, I hope it doesn't go 20 miles, otherwise... Well, in fact, I don't think the Picolina is going to be capable of doing that, but we shall see. Um... So, I think last time... I think I used the Baja Extreme last time. Uh, we will go with Unlimited Class. So, it'll be curious to see how this how this fares in comparison uh, to the um, Extreme one. Uh, and it was requested to be in pink. This wasn't even Amy's request. This was for uh, Davinator. Uh, it wasn't even Amy requesting this one. I know what the uh, potential uh, concern might be for this. Because I know what we had kill it last time, being the old... Uh, actually, I know I'm going to annoy people by having it kind of close to the right colours, but not quite. Uh, so we'll have like a weird pink and purpley two-tone. Let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> It's a hideously pinky purple car. <laughs> I love it. Um, it's more purple than pink, to be honest with you. Right, let's change that. Put that there. Put that there. Let's just have mismatched pinks. That is suitably hideous. Um, wonderful stuff. We were going to remove a couple of cars, actually, before we go. That thing was terrible. You can go away. Uh... You're a funny obstacle. You can stay. You caught fire. You can stay. You're miles off the track anyway. We don't see you. Um, you can go... Uh, wait, hold on. I went past the one I actually wanted to get rid of. I want to get rid of 
I'll get rid of these because they are slightly in the way of the landing zone. Amazingly, nothing's hit them yet, but uh, is the Vanster being removed already? Oh no, the Vanster, for some reason I'm in first person view. Don't quite know why. Ah, uh, you know what? I'd say that's fine. That, the frame rate will be a bit better now. Well, I won't spend too long. Okay. I hope this doesn't survive 20 miles, otherwise... Well, I say that, which will be in for a long stream. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Baja Picolina will be the last vehicle. This... Not quite as crazy as the extreme version. Might help it, to be honest. It's very loud. Forgot how loud it was. Yeah, being slightly slower might actually help it in some ways. We will wait and see. Uh, I am going to turn down my computer... Do let me know if uh, the mix for the for my audio is a bit wonky. Very difficult to tell with this game because cars are so vastly different in volume. Uh, so yeah, if it is too loud and you can't hear me, I will uh, turn it down. Um, oh, there's the exhaust from the uh, previous car. That's fine. So the, yeah, the concern with this is... While the suspension is great and everything, one big hit on one of these jumps collapses it. It just goes ping. Um, or not. It won't go ping on the first jump, but over time it might. That's what killed it before. Suspension just kind of compressing too much. Oh. God dear. And yeah, that will potentially cause problems. I would be surprised if this went. Off-road vehicles like this do not have a good track record in this series. We saw what happened to the Zeta and the H series, even. And while I think this is potentially going to be better than them, I don't know. Because, yeah, all it takes is one hit on these. Like, one... God, too big a hit on this suspension. While it is super strong and everything, you can still kind of overload it, and it's just way worse on these sort of vehicles when it's overloaded. Oh. Like that. <laughs> it's already collapsed the front wheel. Now, that's not the worst problem in the world. I can live with that wheel doing that. It still technically steers. It doesn't steer very well to the left anymore. Uh, oh. Okay, well, that's not great. Might have got a little bit carried away going up the hill. Yeah, it's funny enough, not the best handling thing in the world. Okay, it survived that, though, fairly well. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to pick the wheel up that much. I'm just, just going to put it out there. Pick a leader. That's not... Oh. That felt bad. That felt like it bent something somewhere where it shouldn't. <laughs> Although it has maybe made it slightly better handling, weirdly. Yes, of course, the Baja vehicle cannot survive as well as a Volkswagen Golf. We know this, though. We know this. Um, oh. That is a real handling problem for me. <laughs> okay, we've definitely got... I think we have some... Oh, no. Don't hit like that, Piccolina. Christ. The, the rear is at a funny angle as well. Please turn left. Oh. My front wheels... One, one of my front wheels is being pushed back. They're somehow not in a line anymore. <laughs> They're not in a line. So one's been pushed back. One doesn't really steer. Rear suspension's gone. It's not... Oh! But it just does sometimes randomly spin on its own. Because, you know... <laughs> why be any sort of use? It's quite broken. Although maybe... Will it have as much will as the Astro? Because the Astro was quite broken for a long time. And... You know, maybe this will have as much determination. I don't know. I think the thing that's going to kill this is it's got too much speed. The Astro, what helped the Astro is, as it started getting broken, it lost a bit of speed. Not enough to, you know, fall foul of a crawler rule or anything, but it lost enough that it didn't quite hit as hard on the jumps. This is unlikely to lose that level of speed. I mean, it can. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Okay, we made it. We had to do a little bit of redesigning the bodywork there, courtesy of a spinner. At least it was only really hitting the exoskeleton. It wasn't hitting any important components. Uh, <laughs> there's no way I was going to get that through the spinner at that angle. But it's it, it's made it relatively okay. Now I can't hit this jump particularly hard anymore because the steering's so knackered. And that hasn't made the suspension worse. I mean, much worse than it already is, considering the asymmetrical front wheel design. Uh, <laughs> oh, we didn't need the lights. We weren't using those. Um, the shortest run we've ever had around this course was... Uh, one of the bolides died after the first quarter because it hit a speed bump and tore itself apart. Um, so that is technically the shortest run, like 200 yards, I think. It is, is technically speaking the shortest ever run around here. Um, the hyper bolide that you see parked on the dirt there actually survived quite well. But uh, yeah, one of the one of the bolide specs, can't remember the exact spec, um, did not last long because it. Yeah, disintegrated on a speed bump. And then another one disintegrated on the checkerboard where it cut itself in half. Um, oh dear. Come on. Come on. Spin around. Oh, that feels bad. <laughs> kind of want the front right wheel to fall off. At the moment, if anything, that's hindering us. I don't land on the one wheel that's good. Please don't land on the front left wheel. So my front right wheel has somehow managed to get broken in such a way that it turns inverted compared to the good wheel. The only good news is that it's kind of mostly off the ground. Oh, that's going to kill us in the spinner because I have to go slow in the spinner and that wheel wants to fight against us. Um... So the wheel's inverted itself in such a way that it shouldn't really happen. And is now fighting against every input that I do. Oh, uh, that's good. This, I think the spinners are going to kill it. I might be able to get away with it by just doing this. Like, essentially bunny hopping the car forward. That's going to be really, really difficult to do. Uh through the spinners. Like here we get a little bit of leeway. Uh, the oil, I don't know why the oil is saying it. That's really not the most of my concerns, though. The fact that the steering is knackered. I actually think we might be able to go out here. Come on. Okay, it has made this turn, but it's very, very close to not making this turn. We are having to fight against... I have, a, I have a really dumb plan that might work. I mean, the dumb plan is to hit the front wheel on the spinner so that it takes the front wheel off. Okay. Oh, we got through. <laughs> I think because my car is so low, it actually doesn't get hit too hard, right? I was hoping it was going to ping the wheel off. Okay, we've actually fixed the wheel. Crashing into the fence has fixed it. I mean, it's not perfect. It's still quite broken, but it's a lot better than it was. We've bent the wheel back into a useful angle, somehow. Um, I mean, oil, look, oil is important. Oil is less important when my car is actively trying to steer the other way to the way I'm telling it. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the big concern. Though we've fixed that problem. I don't know whether the oil starvation is just the oil going around the engine in weird ways. Because uh, we haven't had an oil pan failure on this. Oh, don't hit that. Don't pull off important bits on the tree. This is getting better. or doing better than I thought it was. Oh, no, the wheel's inverted itself again. We have got problems here. Come on. Come on, Piccolina. There we go. Okay. That wheel is so dangerous. <laughs> if that gives up at the wrong time, it's straight into the spinner with me. At the moment, it's fine. Although, yeah, this is considerably better than the extreme Piccolino. I'm pretty sure that had given up after a couple of laps. This is also, you know, as I said, 
uh, how much will does the vehicle have to survive? This is definitely determined, I'll give it that much. It didn't want to be a letdown after that uh, astonishing run from the Astro. And it's putting on a good show here. I mean... Oh god, the wheel is unbelievably erratic there. It does whatever the hell it feels like half the time. But... We live. We carry on. We're still going with the pink machine. Oh, come on. I think maybe it's being tipped around so much on the suspension. That's why the uh, oh, oil starvation is happening. I guess if in doubt, go for a spin. Sure, why not? Uh, oh. Okay. I just didn't want to wreck my car on some trees, that's why we've gone for, uh, <laughs> for a reverse there. I mean, I've got to pretty much fight this steering everywhere. Is there any... I'm going to have to hope that wheel comes off. I think the spin <laughs> the spinners somehow taking that wheel off might be my best bet. I mean, there's definitely an element of crashing it. God. It, you are not wrong. This is a very annoying vehicle to drive. It's not an easy vehicle to drive. It's constantly wanting to do dumb things. Oh, come on, wheel. I'm just waiting for it to get killed by the spinners at this point. Um, Alright, here we go. Okay. You can get in that part. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, <laughs> it's gone, the steering's gone, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen eventually, the steering it just decided it wasn't going to steer, I'm not allowed to use reverse in the spinners, so the only thing I can do is go forward and it's trying to shuffle through it, and in the end that killed the steering, I mean it did better than I expected from a Baja Picolina to be honest, um, yeah. I was hoping it might just bend the one broken wheel, but no. It's it's just too much damage on the front end. Not surprised, particularly, uh, by that being the cause of death. It did pretty well, considering how knackered it was, but yeah, my steering currently... I mean, that's not really steering at that point, is it? <laughs> one wheel goes one way. One wheel turns left and right, which is opposite to the direction I'm currently turning the controller. The other wheel just changes camber. <laughs> so that's... I mean, you can see how broken the steering rack is there. It's uh, yeah, quite broken. Quite broken indeed. Oh, but that is the end of the Baja Picolino. And in fact, that will be the end for this uh, for this stream for this episode ah oh, we've had some great vehicles the little covert that tried to tow a caravan and did fairly well lado's truck lado's recovery service that punched a fuel tank and went up in a ball of fire uh the bolide it survived quite well all things considered in the end lost its steering this was hilariously wacky uh lost a drive shaft but everything wobbled itself to death a hopper that didn't want to die uh the blue buck that kept going again for quite a while uh, on a very poorly engine, but by far and away the most impressive thing of them all. <laughs> the Astro is the uh, is is one of the most spectacular vehicles we have ever come across. Um, uh, a Rod, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, for the official ruling, while the Grand Marshal Estate made it 17.3 miles, the Astro actually went further, dying on the same lap one turn further than the Marshal. Ah, so there we go, we have a new complete overall record holder <laughs> in the uh, form of the Country Astro. What a machine this was. And, I mean, it was an entire front subframe failure. The engine was about to die on it, but it was an entire front subframe that failed going over the... Uh, speed bumps the whole thing if you haven't if, if you've just joined i mean if you just joined i'd recommend go back and, and give it a watch but as you can see that 
should not be down there. <laughs> oh, what, a, what an astonishing, astonishing little car that is. What a machine. Ah, but it's been a fun stream. I apologise I haven't got through as many vehicles as I'd like to have today. Mostly because the Astro just didn't want to die, but we also had a hopper survived a long time. A lot of cars survived a long time in this one. We didn't have too many oil pan nonsense as well, which is great to see. Um, yeah, that is quite the uh, quite the machine right there. Oh, but yes, that will be it for today. A big thank you to everybody who is uh who, who who has watched uh i hope you have enjoyed this session a massive thank you of course to those who have donated uh, i say i apologize we couldn't get around to quite everybody's everybody's vehicle uh it is it is a shame would love to have been able to uh, unfortunately yeah <laughs> time time gets away from us but uh yeah i do thank you all the, the support is is greatly greatly appreciated i will be back on a sunday with some gta for you all same start time at seven uh, I hope you will be around to uh, to watch that, to see the nonsense and shenanigans unfold as uh, we all go racing and so on on GTA. However, yeah, that is going to be it. It from me. Until next time, I leave you with the smouldering, smouldering wreck of the, the bad Astro. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs>